Big Tarek Invitational. Before the break, we were discussing. <laughs> so did you, you didn't find them? What? You couldn't find them. Oh, yeah. uh, no, I did. Oh. What are you talking about? Oh, oh you actually did find thing. them. Yo, they, look who finally decided to show hey. up. They don't trust me. I don't get it. They don't trust me. <laughs> oh, Of course wow. I did my job. Of course I did my job. I thought you were just life. pogging for nothing and you didn't no. even find anyone. You are just baiting the, the people in the chat. I don't pog well, for no guys. reason. I always got a reason to <laughs> yeah. pog. Oh. The people thought this was an elaborate German bit where we stole your stream key. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. 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 They were just like wondering who the fuck is so these guys? They thought you looked like Eastern European hackers. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. The I Mobile Fat 2 it. campaign. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. How are you guys doing? Yeah. Yeah. You've been doing some hardcore prep for the show, Matt, huh? Uh, yeah. Check this out. <laughs> Dude, you know, it's, it's actually pretty You're funny because I, oh. I, I showed him at the house. I'm like, yo, I'm bringing my mouse. And he's like, you fucking nerd. <laughs> I'm bringing my mouse Okay, too. no, he's also a nerd because I, I, I was wrapping up this wire and he goes, oh, is that a viper? <laughs> <laughs> I did know which mouse it was from the cord because there's like only one pink mouse in the market. Sweaty. So uh, Sweaty. I used the viper for a while. So I, I did know the mouse by uh, the way. Yeah. Uh, I'm ready for the show match. Um, oh, it's yeah. going to be fun. I can't wait. I'm going to cook you. I'm going to cook you. You're going to lose. <laughs> He's so confident. And it's, I, I, I really is love there, it. Is there anything uh, on the line here? There yeah. is. Yeah. There's, a, there's a tweet on the line. Um, right, right. So who winner gets to tweet on the other guy's account. And there's, there's a lot on the line for me because I'm pretty clouded. So I'm going to make yeah. sure that you... Do you have you, a million followers? Whoa, why are you bringing numbers into this, bro? <laughs> 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 why are you you just used the word clouded. <laughs> no, it's just like cloud could be like more than numbers, yeah, man. It's that's like, true. Like, like love, love, heart, love <laughs> yeah. friendship, the, friendship, all the things that all cloud's known for. Exactly. Uh, well, that'll be fun. But first, we got yes. real Valorant to look at. Sentinels mm -hmm. versus TSM. Exciting. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that Sentinels are doing the lower bracket run, giving us the maximum viewership for the ah, for the show here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering if they had promised you that or something like that. For yeah. Well, I snuck. I, I I did whisper into their ear a little bit, and they're, they're making it happen. So it's I'm actually in his contract that they have to. <laughs> they they have to go through lower bracket. <laughs> yeah. They did already play TSM. Didn't go great. I think it was 13. What was it? 13-7, 13 seven. Thirteen. 13, 7, 13, 8, I yeah, think, on yeah. Fracture and Pearl. Yeah, you guys are so good at remembering stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, numbers, so if you had well, asked me the, the score line, I Brent, wouldn't have been able to tell you. You, you trusted us. What are you guys those are correct numbers. I mean, <laughs> we just correct. Yeah, sometimes yeah. you just say the number real confident yeah. and you're wrong, yeah. but nobody fact checks. No one's going to check. I'm going to start th yeah, I'm gonna start just saying numbers. And just start no lying. Yeah. No, I'm just going to make it up and then yeah. see if anyone bats an eye and then we'll go with it. Yeah. Nobody will. Yeah. <laughs> they won 10 4. Yeah, they decided not to play the rest of the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they just didn't play the rest. They gave up. Someone Gave accidentally up. FF'd. All right. Uh, well, uh, as this is a rematch, I wanted to ask, what were you thinking yesterday of these teams for their debut for, for TSM? It's adding a new player for Sen. It's a completely new roster. Did they meet your expectations? Sentinels met my expectations through the roof. And I'm not just saying that even. No, just you're just biased. saying that. You have I mean, to say that. Obviously, there's a little bit of bias that's going to be there no matter what. <laughs> but I, I feel like they played really well. Like, they uh, the surprised me and how they well they played. I think they surprised themselves, actually. I don't think they themselves expected to. To, uh, show up in this fashion. So uh, I'm excited to see if they can continue that uh, fire and momentum and bring it into today. Uh, I'm hoping so. Uh, and TSM, they, in my opinion, they were kind of shaky to start off the day. Mm. Uh, but that later match definitely uh, was a different TSM. Uh, I think T1 looked a little weaker uh, later in the day. But overall, uh, good things to take away from both teams uh, coming into today. Tens looked like he was Smurf in this tournament. Yeah, yesterday. he did. I, I mean, he was just taking duels constantly and owning people all day long. Yep. He, he's got, I, I don't know, he just farmed. And that's after starting like one and seven on split or something like that, ending up in, obviously it was yeah. like quadruple overtime, but still mm -hmm. kind of matching. He ended trends. up with like 350 ACS or something. Yeah. He? he was clowning on people. I can leak some tens intel from yesterday now. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Yeah. I've been talking to him because we had a shoot together. Yeah. And he told me, he had to wake up at 5 a.m. No. Yeah, he woke up at 5 a.m. So he slept like shit, and that was that was like four hours, five hours of sleep. Ten. What if that's his trick, though? Like, yeah. what if what if he yeah. plays insane when he doesn't sleep? So like, yo, team, I gotta stay up all night. and want to stay up. We find out now, <laughs> dude. I love when they do this. I love when they do this. The huddle. A little team huddle. I love the team huddle. If I'm psycho, I'm just hiding alarm clocks in Tenz's room and just setting them to <laughs> random times of the night. <laughs> and this guy's not sleeping. You know that happens in like. Like the National Football League, like the uh, sound the fire alarm, NBA it happens to. It's <laughs> like what, a thing. In the hotel. To like whether it's like up. whether it's like oh. I mean it's usually other teams' fans, 
who will just ring the fire oh, alarm, oh, wake them up, mess with their sleep schedule. Mess with their sleep schedule. Wow, that's, that's fucked. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's crazy. Crazy. So, so anyway, I did it last night. I have a lot of money on TSM. <laughs> God bless, baby. Come on. Yo, yeah, I, don't see I, I want to see a Lotus pick. I want to see a Lotus pick. I don't want the first oh, wow. time that I see Lotus to be Ludwig showing me how to do an A default on that map. I won't lie. <laughs> I found last night you. that if you stand under the door, you can spawn past the barrier huh? after the round ends. Wait, what? You've played Lotus? Uh, no, I saw a TikTok about oh, it. So. No. <laughs> Get ready for that, this guy's buddy. Doing his Get ready, bucko. Get ready. <laughs> Lotus would be great. I'm going to be in spots you've never seen before. <laughs> oh, Icebox. I'm going to get a call first from Riot. Icebox. Wow. Yeah, it this is, is the first yeah. time. That is the most right? excited I've seen yeah, that anybody was, about Icebox. I love like Icebox. Yeah. I know it's like a frown upon opinion. Oh, yes. We haven't got it all then. I don't think we have. All right, I haven't no, seen all right, it. Come on. Right. Haven. Oh! No. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to risk Lotus. It's like too much on the line. Uh, on map three, yeah, it's a little crazy. Yeah. So I, I think we might have to start tipping him off to like get Lotus in the finals. <laughs> Can we just force it in the finals? That's or the only other have... option, right? Is that it's in the finals? <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. it's yeah. your tournament. Yeah, so. go for and we it. We might have to force it. Or well, how do we force it? How Chad, did the should we force work? Lotus in the finals? How do the bands work in the finals? Is it like the upper, the upper bracket, bracket gets two bands? Two bands. Yeah. So if, if they choose not to ban it, they have to play it. No, because it's not BO5. No, oh, it's, not it's BO3. Yeah. Yeah. We should just force it. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll just force it. it. We'll do a best yeah. of three. Every map is Lotus. Look, I see you. These guys have not even played it, probably. Just Lotus, Lotus, and Lotus. <laughs> yeah. Right, just make it up for the lack of it in the rest Come of the on. tournament. Yeah. And then they'll get really good at it, too. Great practice. <laughs> right. right. in the future. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Sentinels will be in Sao Paulo, uh, godlike at <laughs> Lotus. <laughs> and every other team's just banning yeah, Every other team's banning <laughs> Yeah, actually true. <laughs> I I feel like TSM have beefed the map veto. Like a, a <laughs> large cow's worth of beef in the why, map. Veto. Why, 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 why? Because why? you know that Sentinels have a couple of maps that they haven't played. Like yeah. they played it once. Yeah. And then they have a couple of maps where they've been playing dodgy comps. And instead, you've taken them to maps where they've practiced or are playing good comps. Actually, they, they didn't practice. They yeah, just looked but, really good. But they had a good comp. comp. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah, the yeah, only yeah. map where they showed a decent composition on Fracture. Sure, That's where sure. you go first. And then the other two maps, they've scrimmed and are probably going to be running something much more sensible well, okay. than they did on Pearl but then the, Split. The alternative, a TSM ban Pearl and Split. The alternative is to go to like Ascent and Haven, which are just like really good maps for the be like some of the best players in the world. Yeah, do that. You know? Okay. Yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah, sure. Why yeah. not? <laughs> do that. Oh, or or at least run run it back on some of the maps that you saw them play yesterday. Make them have to take them out of the pool. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, what are we seeing? Same know. thing. Uh, Zek and Neon again. Slight difference. Ooh. I think someone was playing KJ, the Kill Toy yeah. last time, switches over to that Cypher. I'm guessing that's just a counter to the Neon pick, uh, since Sentinels hasn't really shown any uh, want to run Rays thus far in this tournament. So... I like that change. Cypher can be really, really solid on this map. Obviously, that kind of changes things. I feel like a lot of the fracture you've seen thus far this tournament is just like, oh, we have a Killjoy. Yeah. Can we get our alt up? Brim We're going to go B. Just like Isn't that kind of strange that both teams are running Cypher? Because KJ is supposed to be like the go-to from what I see here. Like the, sure. the ult yeah. is so good, right? You I think put it's it just below. personal preference yeah. for yeah. Death. Yeah. Death really likes Cypher. Cypher. Yeah. And on the yeah. other side, I think this is a good counter into the Neon. True. Yeah, because Neon's going to like get stopped right in her tracks, yeah. trying to run into the site. When I was talking to Kaplan, the strategic coach for Sentinels, he was like not super happy with the way that you have to maybe force setups because of how Killjoy is playing. Whereas yeah. Cypher can be a little bit more free-flowing. free, free flowing. So that was his reasoning. I also think that um, on the other side, the fact that they're not playing... Um, Dude, what is this? I don't know. know. Oh, what? It's an unholy banger I'm in my ears. I'm crooning right now. <laughs> <laughs> Survive. This is part of the new patch. Yeah, you wish. Just every time you load in a fracture. Do they, did, they did I'd be in, so ready to play. <laughs> they did that in League and everyone got mad. Or right. a few people got mad. They like, had like the Porter Robinson. Music? Oh, really? Oh, That's pretty sick. It was so beautiful. That's awesome. Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> but you, you know, League players. You should do the one for Valorant. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually working on it with Riot right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there. Shit, we're right into it. Let's yeah, go. they are just. Contact and all the way. Well, here we'll see the whether rip. Seven's getting any value out of these trips. Yeah, and the double setup and tower as well is going to be hard to clear. Well, nope. uh, <laughs> never mind. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's that both trip value against there, the game. Those trips are down. Can't do the not nade. clear tower, though. So have two players there. That's oh, a really man. nice aftershock. Oh, oh, tower. Wow. <laughs> yeah, not a clear. Though. Yeah, good aftershock to separate yeah, them, too. Yeah, it's such a good... Little piece of utility from Sassy. And Pancata's already rapping. They're just baiting for him. There's no oh, way you can do so anything man. for Corey. Ace, ace picked up two. Oh, ace ace three. The cobbler? Wait, Bro. first ace of the tournament? That strength coming in. Guys woke up, found a fountain of youth. <laughs> oh, my oh my god! god. Oh, 
That's gotta be a fine, bro. What yeah. The? That's gotta be That's a fine. That's not allowed. Yeah, so TSM is out of the tournament. TSM, <laughs> pause the match. I'm sorry. Well, Who's... we're gonna move on to the show match. Go get your uh, yeah, mic ready, got boys. My, got, my mouse, into it. got my keyboard. Man. I can't believe we, it's been so many 4Ks and just. Yeah, it's been no a way. lot leading up to it. Yeah, I think always. we'll see one at the show match. I mean, we'll definitely see one on the show match. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> no, that was my line! Uh, Fuck! Yeah, Shroud's gonna get nice. Thanks, man. This was a good clear, but then uh, they're on the double flank too. Yeah, nobody's holding the. Yeah. Uh, because they have to spend so country. much time clearing tower. Like a lot of the stuff that Hayes is doing there when Pencott is working on flanking, and then the double flank as well, going to take so much pressure. To be honest, it's probably too much manpower on tower, right? They had three. Yeah. I mean, normally you would have smokes there though, and you wouldn't have to worry about that angle. Right. Sure. The but brim smokes last forever. It might not matter too much, because we're in the silly, funny meta where you just buy a stinger every single yeah. round if you get the spike down, so... <laughs> and two sets all stingers, chance. too, almost, like... I think a couple of the pros are saying as well on the couch, like... The scrims right now are just insufferable. Everyone's on the stinger, yeah, right? Yeah, everyone's buying stingers. Blocking vision. Hayes is gonna have his ult for the, the pr first rifle round. Yeah, it's actually big. What do you think? He's gonna just pop it on uh, A main? It's like the go to, or just. Uh, I know some people like sitting by A main and just like waiting for audio cue and then popping yeah. it. I feel like you you run uh, two players over on the B site and you just hold for any noise A main. Yeah, and then do it off audio cue? Yeah, do it off audio. Is, Don't waste it right that's, away. That's, yeah, that's what they were doing yesterday, if I remember correctly. Ooh, that was terrifying. I mean, I think you could try to do the same on B where you play off audio cue, but they're mo much more likely to burst onto you on B. Yeah. Whereas on A, you've got like, they're not just going to send it down holes quite as quickly. And if they do, you still have three players there ready to kill them. Yeah. Go, go, go. Yeah, Hayes has got one more opportunity to get a kill or die. And then he has his ult for the important round. Yeah. It's kind of brutal beginning for Sam. Yeah. No money now for this because of the Stinger Force. This is just going to be standard though in, in this meta right now, right? Yeah. Like, if you win the pistol and you also win the, the second round where an opponent forces into you, You'll have quite a lot of 3-0 beginnings to maps. I'm waiting to see if more teams buy into the, the no armor Stinger Force hype train. Because you can just get a full buy with light armor in the, in the second round if what, you do that. The or the third round, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or it was, yeah, it was the guard. The guard. Like, Josh RT is always on the cutting <laughs> edge of the economy stuff. No one really caught on with his half armor Oof. thing, but maybe this Stinger thing has merit. It seemed pretty good when they were playing with it. Corey up on the gen box there, like... That's definitely an angle that he should be getting a little bit less dangerous with, right? He went all the way down to 5 HP there. With the Phantom, too. Pretty slow going, though. Yeah. So far from Sen, just trying to see if they can get a pick with one of these Jerry. His like, hey, timings are so good. And he's got Spike down. down B. Just calling for extra backup. Yeah. I thought they would commit more heavily to that, to be honest. Yeah. But they've just reinforced three players over on A. And they're watching for anybody pushing underneath on the opposite side. 30 seconds. And they have three here. Hayes Ooh. has got a good idea of what's going on. Like Look at that shot. shot. Ooh. Yeah, now the smoke's down. Seconds low HP, so... Hard to dash out of that. Clean. Yeah, easy cleanup. No one going down. Hayes got the ult for next round. I yeah. just had the primal urge to do a sponsor plug for the flawless round. Right there. Wait, really? <laughs> I just had the primal <laughs> urge to go prime gaming flawless. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. hey. Get out of here! for that <laughs> as well as Twitch. So, yeah, <laughs> actually, kind of works. <laughs> the YouTube member flawless. We will never say no to a prime sub. Like. Yeah. Don't, don't get us yeah. wrong here. Yes, yeah, some of us will. <laughs> some, of us <laughs> will. <laughs> some of us will be forced to, unfortunately. No, it's yeah. because we don't care about being viewer-funded anymore, all right? We don't want to take money from the people. No, we're not taking money from the people. That's the beauty oh, of it. Oh, no. Wow. You don't they just yeah. sent it. They yeah. went for a four-player push. Center, you said. Arcade, and Hayes didn't play off audio and just popped his ult. So now he's in the worst position possible. Wow. Okay, well, oh, that was a, a <laughs> attempt at a bonus round. <laughs> Yeah, kind of bold. 
It to feels pop like with this comp, it's a lot harder to do like those those crazy forward plays. You have no breach stun, no flash to like just get that early pop, and you have to just kind of rely on. Yeah, or are you getting yeah. something? I We're gonna isolate someone with the haunt, but that didn't happen. I was thinking this defensive, the the. the Ult that you want to have after the three rounds that are basically given to you if the, the the Stinger Force doesn't go your way is probably not the Viper Ult on defense because it's so conditional on what the other team does. Sure, it maybe locks down a specific area, but you could play around that on Fracture so well. Yeah. More early round pushes from TSM getting close up in A-holes. They're walking. Oh, oh, smoke. Yeah. Death might be... In the way. That trip is. Oh, oh, that trip is so deceptive. Oh, 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 oh my oh, god. Okay. <laughs> Got a That's, jump scare. Uh, That's unfortunate. Yeah. Good reaction, though. Yeah, Straight fast into B. The suppress did not hit, so I don't know where these kill trips are if they're in a position where they can find value. I don't think anyone's going to eat cross that, at least. Sauce yeah. is one off holes. Oh, oh wow. my goodness. Oh, man, How annoying. many spam kills has Hayes got on this map? He, he, he was almost planting there. Dude, I think that's all pro games I've noticed. Is they just fucking spam. Like, Smoke you guys aren't even good. You're not even good. You're not even good. You don't even see me. Like, how's that fair? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Zekin somehow gets away. Pankata is walking into the smoke with Brimmel. Yeah, that, that seems a bit insane, doesn't uh, yeah. it? Yeah. I feel like you can't win this just by playing off Brimmel, though. You have to actually yeah. try and get a pick. Or at least a couple. Yeah, he's forced to, though, so... Maybe it's plan and slant too. Tens is main. He can't really help this. They have to swing so deep to be able to do anything against the fuse. Tens moment. Tens moment. Tens moment. This will push them into tens, but oh. Oh. Ah. can't get it. It's a nice try. This is not yeah. And that's a really good clap back. A cool idea as well, defending the site from seven and haze. They're expecting one of those neon pushes into B, mm -hmm. and then the kill trips are for. Um, both of them to play off-site and spam through the smokes on the players that would get uh, caught by the trips. And yeah. Instead, they just spam off the tap noise and find Sassy perfectly. I mean, you can't really do that when you're playing Killjoy. Sure, you have that alarm bot, but normally you want to invest that for information. So it's at a forward position. You don't get quite the same value on that spam. Yeah. Like, if you're a nerd, you can get a lot of value out of the Cypher. Unfortunately, no one from San really pushed past it. Didn't matter for her. TSM in the long run, though. I think that's also a really tough angle if you go for an arcade push to, to do anything with those trips because you have to full full turn 180 if you hear them to be able to break them because you're watching the smokes from yeah, Jen and Yeah. Can't yeah. Sentinel is using a timeout. Mm -hmm. They didn't use many of those yesterday, really. It's pretty early on. Yeah, it is. Who's, who's in the bed? Who is in the bed? <laughs> oh, that's Psycho. He's actually coaching from the bed. <laughs> the coaches should be in the bed, honestly. It's a wasted opportunity. They should just be perched up there, just like swinging their legs. <laughs> from the top, from the top legs. Yeah, from the top bunk. Just Second, swinging their can legs, you get like a 3K and yeah. just swing your legs? <laughs> like, uh... Can you guys please win around? <laughs> <laughs> Where are the coaches? Uh, they're they're like just off camp. Off camp. Uh, yeah, they're just tucked around the corner. They are in the room with them, but they're. Oh, only uh, one coach, though. Coach. Uh, it's just yeah. Psycho. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's pretty That's small. That's Todd. Room. He takes pictures really good. Nice. That's mm. sassy. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're Dude, mixing him up because he's bald, guys. Yeah, yeah. Know, it's yeah. Crazy. I'll say it. I'll say yeah. it. Lud was asking me to take pictures of him yesterday and kept calling me Todd. And I was like, what the hell are you talking about, man? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> uh, yeah. You're not bad, by the way. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some weird poses, though, you had. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> they sound ass up. <laughs> Boudoir collection dropping soon. <laughs> that was a heavy util dump. Just all the fade utility and the knife will be in use. Oh, but the raise ult on the other side, they have a pinch here. They can't hear because of the fade ult. Uh, yeah. That's so good. And Hayes is just going to kill everyone. Because nice. he's good at the game. Put down. Oh. Well, Death Death I mean, he's just been hiding here with the spike. He didn't want to go across the rope in case. Someone had pushed through B main, I guess, but he should have tried to reconnect way earlier, I think, with those players that were pushing through halls reactively from Sen. I mean, Sen th this is where you really see Sentinel's like lack of um, prep, prep coordination, like the team play stuff that most teams have just because yeah. they've played with each well, other for they, ages. They have protocols against sort of these sort of things, these yeah. sort of ideas. So, but um. for Sen, they're just kind of skilling it so far in the tournament, and that makes it difficult in rounds like this.
I think credit to TSM for putting the pressure on, because this isn't a comp that would usually play like that. Is he going to get Spike? Plant? 30 seconds left. Uh, yeah, I would have gone for Plant there. Just stick it. Stick it, get some money. Get some he was money. attempting to get his funny up, so a little unfortunate. He thought, yeah, he was going for the 1v5 ace, you know. Uh, I respect it. You have to believe in yourself. That was a really well-coordinated use of nature's ults, I think. Just pushing from Dish, getting the Nightfall out, yeah. and Corey coming from the north side really, really late, kind of. And he could use the, the Viper wall to scale appropriately as well. I feel like plays like that are some of the most satisfying to watch, where it's like the Nightfall's like deafening yeah, ability is actually like yeah. used well. And, and we were wondering a lot with that Viper wall on defense that TSM is using. Oh, here we Good go. For it. I was That's wondering if we were going to get usage out of this. Because remember, they were throwing that wall all of yesterday, and oh okay. My. Oh. No funny business oh today. Keep going. GMD. Oh. I mean, GMD's done enough, surely. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Zekken's always jump peeking when he has Neon ult. Haze is already behind him. This flank is so fast. No, no. way. No. When Kata gets two. No. Not like this. Let's Let's throw this. this. They're gone. Pancada won so many clutch or like bad situations for them yesterday. I think he, he, weirdly, Pankato was in like five or six 1v1s and then clutch, I think maybe all of them except one. Yeah. Yeah. He was winning. Oh no, oh, no. not again. Spike. Oh my God. The spam. They're both so oh, low yeah. now. This would be the time for him. This is where he comes yeah, this up, right? position is actually so smart. They, Wait, think, they, they really think he's canteen. Spawn. They think he's canteen. Oh, this HP is tough though. And angle's tough too. Yeah, how do you get out? Yeah, I think he's got to buy a then. timing here, right? Just wait it out. Maybe try to flank. I he hears doing. them both. Oh. Oh. Oh! 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 He's so good! God, what can so he do? Good. He's insane! Wow. He's so a good! Beast, bro. Why, Pencon? It's so amazing. So S and chat beast. for GMD. You that are not crazy. allowed to say I got my one, but you are allowed to say I got my three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Pencon is that guy. Holy. This is what I'm talking about, though, man. Sentinels have just been skilling at this tournament. Their, yeah. their player quality is barbaric. It's a 2v5 sure. right there. The, like this you makes you me, can't lose that round. Yeah. This makes me think of what Psycho said yesterday when he was on the couch, which I believe was, you could take Pencata's tongue out. I don't care what he says. As long as he's playing as well as he is, he's worth all the money in the world to yeah. Sentinels. And he's started to call and make command calls yeah. and stuff like that. So Remember, all that improvement within one week. Yeah. They have so many ults here that are just so powerful. Breach ult, Brim ult, K ult. And there's really no anti-KO setup here, so hitting A will be really, really good. Get a little trap play over this, though. The star setup? Yeah. yeah. Just in case there's any sort of horse presence, yeah. like if Sentinels want to try and take it. But also, Sentinels have never been taking A holes really quickly off the back of Zekken yeah. at the beginning of these rounds. So when it slows down like this, it's actually really tough to get through that trap. If you do it off the rip, you can get through. You have a timing. Mm -hmm. TSM's not rotating. Oh, they're finally moving away. Oh, now they're going for it. And so they have no smoke on halls, nothing to stop them, really. Everyone's just hidden in a smoke. Where's this Brimol going? I kind of was holding it. Hello? What? what? Oh. Oh. Spike down A. Gotcha. Pancada is alive. Sen still in the round. I mean, GMD's about to get ulted. <laughs> okay, Pankata. Can they get the spike, though? There's no more smoke. Here's the breach yeah, hold the spawn. spawn. That's catches huge. Both. Yeah, it catches both. Got the spike. I gotta admit, I love watching Pankata and friends play. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really fun. Spike planted. Dynamic duo here. Sassy and Pankata. It's unfair to label it like this, but TSM is on the verge of losing another 5v2. I don't think that's unfair. Yeah. I think that's pretty fair. Okay. I think that's exactly what's happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Brazilian duo as well. Yeah. Closing it out. Ooh, seven scores. Yeah. Yeah, Pankata just will not lose this ever. Wow. Wow. So just beautiful. play off each other. It's so well. so well done. <laughs> yeah, we do get little spoilers. You chat, you can't tell because we hear the teams yelling with like maybe a half second latency, like it's just slightly yeah. early, <laughs> and then the round is won. It's yeah. so like when Pankata clutched, they popped off.
I mean, these guys are world champs for a reason. And like, the player quality of, of just of Sassy and Pancada individually, even outside of, like, whatever Scent Worlds is developing as a team, can just pull off yeah. ridiculously stupid rounds like that. And that's also the difference, just when those two are in clutches, they get they lose all the barriers with the rest of the team, right? Both just full send in Portuguese, and yeah. you can tell how fast they are reacting to each other. You think they're common in Portuguese when Absolutely. it's just them two? Um, yeah, Absolutely. almost surely. I know I that was a thing sense. in a lot of like uh, in international teams at times where, where they would switch that, which is like in CS, who's uh, Nico's brother who we played with? Nico and Hunter, uh, right? Nico's cousin, yeah, yeah Hunter. Yeah, his yep. cousin. I think they would switch to, yes, to common their native language. Well. Right? It was just I, I think it makes sense. I think like you want to speak in your native language when you're in a situation yeah. where it's you two, um, and it, it won't really matter if your teammates yeah. know what you're saying. Whenever Josh and I get into a clutch, we start speaking English. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did he just get two with the stinger. Didn't clear. That still works at pro level? I mean, that is just outlandish. Right, this would be a huge round for TSM to pick up, who are on the verge of, like, an amazing defense side. Yeah. This is still really workable for Sentinels, though. Corey's completely isolated. Ah, the classic. Damn. That's so annoying. And GMD's timing here is so good. Oh. Yeah. They're just oh, going to catch this. My God. God. It's going to be a thrifty. Yeah, that is a thrifty. That is a thrifty. I hate that sound so much on the yeah. receiving end of it. Yeah. Hey, that that high low setup <laughs> that you're talking about, Lutter, like that works at this level as well. They they don't have a boom bot to clear that. They don't have prowlers to clear that. Like this comp is based on flashing and going quickly. Mm. And the these kind of setups work really nicely against them. You have to face check. You think he's worried to go quick just because of the Cypher presence? Like, is he worried yeah. to run into the site directly? Because he's going to run yeah. into that trip? I, I also say that works because I go there with a judge 13 rounds straight, and they've been very <laughs> yeah. aggressive many rounds and then decided to dial it back, which is like a mix-up. But... Derek, you taking notes? No, I'm going to sit there 13 rounds in our show match. <laughs> I'm already very familiar with his game style. Uh, you <laughs> won't be able to handle my judge. Yeah, you've been playing I know your maneuvers. Server, so I and I will bring the judge out okay. right back at you. If you kill me with a judge, I'll give you one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> You're almost like yeah. some slip there, buddy. That's yeah. Plus EV. Uh, my ego has to quiet down a bit. Oh. Dude, nature is great. Oh. oh, never mind. Not that crazy. It sucks again. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> Feels bad. Def is just crouching in the corner. They really have been slowed down, though. Yeah. The Sentinel's pace is snail-like moving I mean, around the map. This is night and day between the last game that we had between these two teams on Fracture. Yeah. Like, I, I think, think they're really confused as to how to take A holes, mm -hmm. and they don't want to do the B exec because they're scared of where the trips could be. So that just leaves them in a position where they don't really have the experience yet to default well with this comp because it's not a defaulty comp. I think TSM has also done a lot better job of like consistently pressuring Arcade off that wall. Previously, Sentinels just abused that space, like yeah, half of their yeah. attacking rounds. And that hasn't been an option here. GMT, mm -hmm. very good play. Heard the drop, you heard the drop. It didn't see the reposition. Though. I think what you could see Sentinels do a bit more, though, is take dish control. I mean, Def, Def has just gone into dish this round. And even though they lose it, he's got some info that they're really not fighting for that area. Yeah. Uh, they've run into two, three players around A-holes in a lot of the previous rounds. They know that there's going to be a Cypher playing most of the time over on B with the Viper. So dish has got to be weak. It, even, even if people are fighting for it, there can only really be one person up there. So taking a lot of your team up there with the Neon to wall out an exec from that side. <laughs> and that's exactly what they're doing. That's got to be better. Mm -hmm. Dude, little boy's drinking now. That's we'll how Sentinel's fans are feeling right now. Oh. This is you two this morning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I like this. I think this makes all the sense in the world. They're going to get all of this space for free. They're going to be able, able to exec into A. If Zekin wants, he can challenge the guys in holes and make space for death to pinch them. It just depends on where they want to take the fight and whether they want to push into halls. Dude, you called this shit. Yeah. Yeah, you, you know that. Dude needs to be a coach or something. Well, let's see if it works first. <laughs> <laughs> it's good in theory. But they've got good positioning. Oh. Sands control, and that shot's going to help yeah, that's a lot. I love but this the is where you need death. Take, though. This is where you need death. Go, death, go! <laughs> <laughs> the guy is no, just he's waiting. <laughs> He's chilling. No, no, he's got it now. He's yeah, got it. Well. Oh! oh my god, bro. You're gonna bring a knife to a gunfight. Come on, man. 
No, you don't oh, get gosh. it with the knife. You actually walk a little faster. Oh. But look, I'm not taking the cre I'm not taking the blame for that. I mean, this was call. your game plan. No, 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 no. Personally, I would have had them kill the other team. No, 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 no. That was an important part of that strat. My game plan, fucking owned. That was that was not part of my game plan. You've got to have some crazy empathy for Hayes right now. No, no, no. Perfect game plan. My team really just screwed it no, up. No, no, no. I mean, yeah, I, I think that's just, again, the like the comms and the coordination and the confidence just not quite being there. He heard the door open, yeah, though, he right? Heard he heard the door open. I think, I think, I think it was weird that he jiggled it. with the knife. Oh, they're holding it open? Yeah. I think, oh, okay. I think his his teammates need to be feeding him info that they're putting pressure on the guy in holes, and he needs to be confident to swing through the smoke knowing that they're just going to, uh, at worst, go one for one and take that whole space from them. Yeah. They should have been way more aggressive earlier when... You know, when they had that first timing. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, he just doesn't quite know where they are. It just gets so messy. I mean, to be fair, it does feel like the whole of Sentinels are struggling a bit with the exception of Pancata. Yeah. S on this T side. Some entries, but yeah, you're 100% right. And TSM's got a great read on what they want to do and what they want to improve from last time. It's the only map in the series that's going to be repeated. They're, they're this Viper is crazy, no? Arcade. Yeah. I feel like it doesn't. It does, it does it buy you a lot of control as defender? Like, is it worth to ult here? Yeah, I mean, you kind of have to. Wait, wait, what? The, what? what? Wait, what? Uh, uh, he surprised wait, wait. He looked like he was surprised as well. What? Huh? <laughs> uh, all, the whole by, by the way, team was surprised. Viper got nerfed, so like his ult goes down so quick. You step out yeah, of it for like I'm three saying. seconds. Did he forget the Viper you change? Yeah, There's that's no that's way. one of the Viper nerves. But you have a visual thing on your yeah, screen, Yeah, you do. Right? You do see it, to oh, be fair, but it is much faster. I'm not sure if he wanted it to drop there, I, but There's I felt like no it was a surprise. There's no universe he wanted to drop yeah, there, Yeah, I, right? I don't think so either. I think that was, uh, that was something. That's so tough, dude, because you didn't have the right read. Like, they, they clearly put in prep on Sentinels on this map. They know that they're loving to take this space. They know what they were doing wrong in the previous map. Try and change that. You gamble your pit, and then, oop, no more pit. Look, I'll he's say, just like walking away, looking at the minimap, making a call or something, and just forget. Yeah. yeah, that's probably what happened. Might have been an IGL thing. Yeah, Hayes so, gets that one though, right? Like we can all agree, did very well all the other rounds. You yeah. get to drop yeah, the wall yeah, yeah, once yeah. and die, and have your, you know the cipher ult on your body. <laughs> <laughs> you get that. You know, yeah, you be. Def ulted here, and it's given them the info for Zekin to just Ten run into him. No oh time. My God. God. What? what? That's freakishly good again Dude, from Pankata. Slam them up like I that, like them down. Three of the rounds that Sentinels have have been just heroic. Yeah, from it, has. yeah it, is, it is full heroic. But it's heroics from Pankata, right? It was like not even that. Look at the them. score line. Yeah. Pankata is actually just weightlifting right now. Mm -hmm. Every couple rounds, Pankata's like, damn, we probably should win one or one or two here. <laughs> it's like, all right, I got you guys. Yeah, that, that could have easily been like 10 2. Yeah. You can tell how prepped, though, TSM have come into this. This one map, though, the changes that they've made. Immediately, you're seeing value out of the Cypher switch up. Mm -hmm. Way better drilled, for sure. Yeah. I, I think Sentinels are kind of winging it. I'm just so impressed comparing this to their first game and even what they had just in the improvement yesterday. Like, TSM is making these changes really, really quickly, which is tough to do, especially against all these teams that you're coming in with, which you have no information on whatsoever. So it all has to be on the fly. Like, Sentinels yeah. have only shown three maps yesterday yeah. yeah but this was a repeat like a rematch of what sure, they've done sure. previously uh, i i think you've got to remember too that this was sent uh, this was tsm's worst half when they played it their defense even though their, their comp looks good on defense they kind of fell to pieces quite a bit they ended up not doing very well i think they won something like three or four rounds on that half last time mm. no, it, it wasn't many so the fact that they've managed to turn it around here if they get the pistol this map's all but locked also, uh, I'm pretty sure uh, I was talking to the TSM guys last night. They were reviewing their matches and trying to figure out what went wrong. So uh, you can yeah. see the adjustments being made just off of yeah. that. And Sentinels went to the club. Sentinels, yeah, I, I went out party with them. So. Yeah, yeah. Terry, so we, we, we were talking about the game yeah. a little bit. But <laughs> yeah, the, the discussion was, dude, what do you guys, like, do you think the Stinger's broken? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys think we should keep using the Stingers or is it like kind of getting cringe? <laughs> yeah, fuck it, we'll keep using it. It's like the, the meme of the kids, like it's Fortnite over rated at the club though <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is a this is a pretty must win round for sentinels yeah, i think you said if pistol. tsm wins the pistol it's all but over i because mean they unless get... unless sentinels forces back and wins but like no, right don't assuming they him, get honestly. some he nah, does this a nah, lot nah. he does this a lot nah, it's... and he's usually wrong <laughs> <laughs> so, well it's a great oh, start james again on the pistol yeah. no. not slowing down at all 
Okay. Oh, skills are huge. Nature turning up. But oh, it's heads huge damage. 30 HP. I think this is too much to ask for. Oh, oh my. He hit oh my one God. shot. Almost pulled it off. Yeah, he hit one shot. Almost pulled it off. He hit one had shot. It. Can the Love bad it. chest berries pipe down a little never bit? Thou, <laughs> never thought, never thought, Tyson. Okay. <laughs> heck is this is one out of three. About. That's a passing grade. But they're not even going for the force. What are you more scared of? Is it Saucy and Pancata or Zek and Intense? If you have to go up against a duo. Ooh. Wait, so is, is it like early round or is it a This quest? is like a sports center Instagram question. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Who's scared? You're Shaq and Kobe or Jordan and Pippin? <laughs> Jordan and Pippin. Uh, uh, but it is crazy, though, that both those duos are on the same team and they're both terrifying. And it's yeah. debatable which one is more terrifying. Yeah, I don't think there's the right answer to that, really. Uh, you're screwed either way. Uh, that's a free Twitter post, Sentinels. It's on the house. <laughs> <laughs> This is just a gamble stack over towards yeah. A that hasn't worked, so. Show us a classic thrifty, come on. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Tens yeah. would be the player to do it, right? He's, He's got, got a half sheriff. by here, but they've... Zekin's gone for half armor. Yeah, I don't think it matters, though. 1,500 is enough to buy next round. Yeah, yeah it is. 1,250 isn't. Like Tens bold. Trying to fill out a stack by waiting so long. And there's... Oh. Watch through! Wow. I mean... Yeah. NT. Yeah, nice try. Nice attempt. A nice attempt. Always oh, loving this. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen him this happy all events. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, your team's doing super good. Shit, man. I have my hoodie on too. <laughs> yeah, I got an extra in the car if you need. It's only map one. It's it a best of three map. today, True. folks. No best of ones. One enemy remaining. This looking almost them. locked up. Sand push. All right, first gun round. Let's start from here. <laughs> it's the exact thing you would say if you were in a ranked game in this spot. I would actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Actually, I've heard you say this on stream. <laughs> well, it's on my teammates. All right, guys. I know we're down bad, but I need these points. So, <laughs> fucking open up their streams and start sniping. Because <laughs> these motherfuckers are definitely sniping us. Hundred percent. They're just, they got intel, and we need some as well. Hey, it's just called Strat. You saw Nature nod for this character. <laughs> <laughs> Who's oh. IGL for TSM? Hayes. Uh, Hayes, yeah. Okay. All right, now I fully believe TSM wins. He's got the dad experience. Oh, they've got such a great timing here past Tens is a knife. Tens just knifed this area, so nothing. They're ready TSM for it, though. just arrived. Ooh, they're Somewhat. running up for an x 5v2. 5v2, A lot of, a lot of pressure on Def here, anchoring. Breach coming in. And he's oh. just being swarmed. Damn, Ten's got lit by the util. Good oh, movement from Corey, but that's smooth. Wait, he's already in. Gets one. We need one more. Oh, we needed one more. We really needed one more. That is a great wide swing from GMD with the sting, uh, with the Spectre. So difficult for Def to hit that. Run! Entered. You catch GMD, though. Yep. Has to move out of the way. And Nature's at, like, Saucy. Saucy. Again, it's random two. spam, I think. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. Sassy and Pancada are doing so much for this team. We're not clocking out yet. Nope. Yeah? Tough. Okay. Tough. It's pretty decent. Uh, TSM don't even do that much damage. They've still got a crazy economy, but... One kill and a bomb plant? We'll give it yeah. to them. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can have it. <laughs> yeah, we'll take it, by the way, because it was a bonus. So, you know, we have a full buy next round. <laughs> That's and okay. we're feeling really good, so... And we weren't even trying up until this point, so good luck. And we also... we Dude, we were literally smoking all morning, so we don't even give a shit. I was just when did TSM sign you? <laughs> <laughs> Something I missed. I'm just a fan of any team that's against your team. <laughs> All right, Dude, Sentinels. Hayes' stats, uh, stat line is crazy. And GMDs. He's been playing so well this tournament. Mm -hmm. Hayes has been excellent. Yeah, Jane, he's turning up. Kind of, I'm actually annoyed about that. I thought we were cool. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he trying so hard versus Sentinels? Recall Smoke didn't push Zekin away. He was still spotting for info there. Over at Heaven. And now he's dropped back. I just re him. Sen is just playing full retake the towards A. You've been investing their right Cypher now. utility towards B as well here. Yeah. They just decided right there to go towards A after a little bit of info has been reacted to on the B side. And the last two times they've gone, they've gotten a free site, but gotten spammed down in the post plant. So. Ten's ultimate would be so useful here for the retake that's inevitably going to happen on A with their setup. 
But they haven't pushed with him, so he's not got all of access. He's Good still here. one away. Uh, Good for seven to be peeking over the trip, right? Try to catch him out as they break it. They're pausing at dish for a long time. Yeah, but he's well, pinched. He's pinched. Why are they not reacting Look, well, to try and help seven? Corey's all the way up, flanking the flank. So they're trying to wait yeah, for five time for this him. This round looks like it's going to be tough for them. They're just all being smoked off. Uh, they're just well. leaving seven they're to just die. Left seven to die. He got his. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, one for one's not bad there with the reflex coming this. through. If, they, if they rotate south side, uh, Corey could cut him oh, off. Oh, wait, Corey. He has to win this. Oh, there wow. you go. Wow. But now they've got Effortless. the read that it's coming into the Now run back A. Run back A. Seven can beat this time in two ten seconds. Yeah, but one of Phantoms, phantoms. If they don't get across. This is going to be close. Seven Bam. seconds. Can any deny plans? Any oh. deny plans? Deny plans? Deny plans? They will do it! It's over! That's my boy right there, Zach, and let's go, baby. Dude, you can't just sit at Dish for like 40 yeah, seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sun City, bro. That's Corey. That's, don't be mad, bro. Don't be mad. Just join the train. Just join the train. Uh, like, I, I get the idea, but it just feels so short-sighted to give up seven when you only have, yeah. what, 40 seconds left I, at that point? I, I, like, I you're completely think, gambling on getting the cross to be. I have to think that Corey's trying to call a, a mid-round there over what the idea was already because they all rotated off A after this was some information given on B. And then they wait forever, and Corey is just walking underpass that entire time, trying to listen for rotates. Yeah, I don't think he has a great read in his head of how close they are to seven, yeah. how hot on this trail they are, because they oh. were still miles away from the Corey flank. They have such a weird buy now. We haven't really seen this B defense get tested. They've normally pushed out of B in the mid round. The Def's changed the setup as well. Still kill trips now. Wow, my eyes are down. Whoa! Okay. That's a lot of info. Oh, no. Oh. no way. No, no way does he still get one. one. How's he getting one? Ah, Did not get his one. You have to win that one. I what? swear you never win the fight against a guy on the rope. Yeah, the, ro <laughs> the, the, the way he's moving, he was late his model is just like bobbing in weird directions. He, he was way oh, late getting that. Though. Sassy has breach hold. You think they invested here? No, uh, probably not. I think so, just to be contrarian. <laughs> <laughs> TSM's I mean, they are the invested here. But I, I think it this post-plan setup is so good from TSM. It, that one was only for tower. We he dodged them perfectly, like, but they just have complete ability. coverage. It's tough. Arcade main. Swing it, swing it, swing it. Oh. Yeah. Should they have opted for a save there, low key? Like with the Astro Wall being up, 3v4? Yeah, probably. I, I feel like they probably feel like they can't, right? They can't. Down four games. I yeah, mean, they have enough money to buy this round. round. No, I mean. Oh, yeah, you're true. Economy is good. They probably have enough for next two. Yeah, I, I feel like they underestimated how many guns were still up for TSM after that because they, they won two rounds in a row. That's normally a round that you're saving, but because Zekin got the last second kill, there's so many players in TSM still up. Yeah. Yeah, it, it did seem like just one of those like go no go situations where it's yeah. just like you get one and it's like you can't hesitate, you can't wait to like think it through and, and try and call that save. I don't think it's necessarily bad, but probably would have been like higher EV to try and save that one. <laughs> Great post plan positions though I'm from so TSM. <laughs> higher EV. <laughs> I've been saying that as a meme. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny to say. You say I'm so poker pilled. Yeah. That <laughs> sentence yeah. I didn't think I would hear. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm with that. I'm poker pilled. <laughs> all right, this is all on second. I mean, hope you're feeling yeah. up to it. Yeah. I mean, he is that guy sometimes. <laughs> nice nade. Pen caught up to the smoke. No, he no. always gets it. Pen just pushes through. Second's got his back. Oh, oh no way. Oh, oh my God. gosh. Was good, oh. good support. Good support. Let's go. It's Chris, why'd you switch, bro? I think we were waiting for a 10s round. Really good help from Zekin and Tens there. They Zekin lived for a while in the site. Back. Yeah. Yeah, they're playing off that nice. These side holds have been pretty solid from Sentinels, but it's not because Def is like really locking it down, getting the perfect kill trips. It's just been like Pancata or Ten swinging through a smoke and getting two every time. Like, I think Jason has actually done a really solid job of either circumventing this Cypher utility or just, you know, having a raise who can satchel yeah. over or break the trips or something. It's gotten so much Wait, less value I want to see a fast than TSM was getting. It looks like it's going to north side crunch with yeah. seconds ults. We haven't really seen much of this. Oh, they had three uh, dish last ooh. round. Are they, what are they waiting for here? Find you till and now they're going to stun? <laughs> Off the haunt? Mm, nope. I don't get this. They're just holding a stun. They're giving all control waiting for. right now. I don't know what I'm waiting for. Tens is locked in. 
Oh, you're gonna swing into some shit. Oh. Death needed one. Oh, oh, my oh. God. Come on. That was such bad. Sassy jumped right as the all was there. <laughs> and look, they, they don't expect the second reflank. Like, do you guys? Zekin's ready for it. That's a big kill to get Zekin's that. Opens up the wall right now. Is he's, he's gonna do it? Yeah, yeah. Spot down. Pop flash down into the corner. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. That's so nice. Too. That's Damn. it? Damn. That, yeah, how did they how? pull that off? What? That's, that's really bad strategy being saved by good players. Yeah. <laughs> that's, I feel like they, the game plan there did not work at all. And then they, like Zekin just dry swung into the guy that was over at San. Uh, and then he also dish, killed the guy flanking. And... If that flank gets off and they manage to kill one there, stall it out, could have been a different story. But yeah, it, it, so many of these rounds have just been Sentinels being, oh, uh, we played this one wrong. We've made the incorrect call, but we just have five of the best players in the yeah, world. We're going to win it. Can't outplay them. We can outskill them. Yeah. Seven was also on a bit of an island, though, because they had that dish pressure yeah, yeah. that there's no way to help the team. Yeah, I think this is this is now getting to the point in the game where TSM are getting a bit worried about losing their grip on it. They've been ahead mm -hmm. this entire map. They've clearly been the better team today on Fracture. Well, they can get a couple ults this round. Save the money for next. Yeah, they do have a lot of ults coming in. Josh, I'm really glad you added both of those asterisks. Make sure you keep the, the Brazilian <laughs> fans on your side. Oh, wow. okay, exactly. What is that? Was that a transfer or was that a reset? I, I think, think a reset. 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 Yeah, it was pretty nice, though. Oh, no, oh, Death. Death has been getting caught oh, no. in these timings so often. Yeah, Death's been having a tough stretch yeah. around here. They're pushed Wait, they all the way into spike, spawn, but yeah. no spike. Pankata could be in trouble. Oh, so Pankata's tough. getting sandwiched. It's literally yeah. three ways there. It is there. rough. Head on a swivel. This is just this chaos is in swivel. the round right now. They've got spike, though, but... How do they break through, right? Yeah. Are you waiting for GMD's stars to come back up, or did it spend them already? Or? They got a raise nade. They're holding. This a couple is prowlers. interesting. They're, like, taking their time on this, left. huh? Yeah, they still have a lot of utility from nature. Oh, oh this nade's going to be this annoying. This nade would be brutal. Do it, 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 do it. Yes! Oh, oh, good. oh the flash Whoa, is so the good! Foul. He's holding a flash that whole time. It was perfect. Tens with utility. Crazy. Yeah. Ten seconds, ten really seconds. Solid Somebody, run. Time. Somebody run. I don't, uh, yeah, yeah, they, they can. can. Run. Time's done, time's done. Get out, get out. No, you can plant, you can plant, you can plant. No, no, no. no. It's it's over. He might be able to. Wait, he's got it. Yes! I think he's got it. I think he has. He's got it. Still got it, still got it, still got it, still got it. Haters, you're all haters. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my boy never misses. <laughs> <laughs> He's wicked smart. That was actually... I got a little so. bit scary, but... Well, that's a big round to lose for TSM. Like you were saying, Josh, they've been in control all this time, and that might be the one to uh, slip, send back into the I don't think that's that bad, though. That was an eco round for them. They came into that round yeah. with stingers. I'm actually capping <laughs> off a stack. No, but... <laughs> you caught me capping I mean, off a stack, it's, my bad. It's an eco round. It's an eco round that starts... 3-5 where they lose the spike and it still gets dangerous. Yeah. I, I don't think that's a bad sign for TSM. I, I do think the, the round so far that they, like beyond that round, the Corey round where they're flanking, the round where the dish play from Sentinels is going wrong, these are rounds I think TSM should be converting on and I think it's strategically falling apart. Three ults, full buy. This the, is where TSM comes alive. This along. round's huge. This round's yeah, actually huge. This has huge. to be the round where TSM stop the momentum. Yeah. And they're doing an arcade contact, and it's actually I like this. I like I mean, looking good. Because they're full stack day, right? Yeah. Just playing for Cam and Brim. And Kata's here though. playing on his tablet. Uh, they, they know the trips, though. <laughs> they pinged it out. They have a deep Cam and Tree, so he's free to do this. Oh, oh my okay. god. They're in the spawn. They're in he's the spawn. Be will, will, he, will he calm this? Is Wait, he aware? Yeah, yes, Steph, they are. Steph's watching. Will he calm this? Imagine he doesn't. <laughs> like, yeah, like that, they're, that they're possibly through spawn smoke. Okay. I mean, they're going B, and we're still all on wow. A. Wow. What the? I Wait, love this, this pit. Ult? They tried this last time as well. Wait, it gets both sides? Yeah, there, there is a gap that they can get out towards Arcade, but it is still really oh, difficult yeah. to get through point. this one. Oh, it's oh, perfect. It's the right. Nice try. I don't get why in the pit people plant in the same it. default spot. Because I feel like you're just going to get sprayed. Yeah. Yeah, also, you should be safer for sure. Part of it is you want to be able to play the post plant late round. Oh, my God. Goes down. Oh, that C's. The the Nothing to combo it. Nate is too late. But this is good time being caught. Break in here. I, I don't. Spam. It's so difficult to win this if you're sent. Yeah. The stun you just have to take really oh, good trades. Come on in. Come on in for the stun, buddy. Wait, this stun's wait, gonna this catch stun's everyone. Gonna wait, wait, Viper's going out. Man. They're dropping it. They're dropping the pit. The neon ult is neon really good at spamming. Oh wait, I feel like they should keep it up, right? Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't yeah. Oh, oh, 
I guess they dropped it because they're like, oh, time's running low, let's get out. Yeah, that makes sense. Because me and you both had full faith that Hazed did it again. Yes. <laughs> the two time. They had so much time with that Seize as well. It was just such an awkward timing. Yeah, that's You want to take this? That one Seize catching four players in the middle of all of that. What a sick ult, though, from Zekka, yes. too. Yeah. <laughs> that was so cool. I love yeah. when Neons used that into a Viper Spitter just to spam through smoke, because your, your ammo regen's so fast. Mm -hmm. you, you can buy to... You, can, mm -hmm. you are perfectly able to Match waste point. a lot spamming. And yeah. yeah, TSM on the verge of this one. They got three guys on light, so money is not too hot for TSM. They lose this round, we're back in it. Copium. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they're doing a. Is that a five or oh, four man dish pop? Yeah. Wow. And the site is up stunned. for taking. They're seized. Free site. Where's Love our trips? That. Are they down already? I guess they're down already. That was uh, that yeah, was nature's own seat. Another spam kill. Second, no, second again on the with flank. these fast flanks. Yeah. Oh, oh my! Oh, the phantom sky. God, they're just getting plucked apart. Yeah, they get so Love many it. of these. Kills. Don't open that door, Seven. Wait, you have to this, no? There we go. Oh my god. There we go. Oh there, we go. Oh there we go. Wait a second. No, he's feeling it. Cook, cook, cook. Yes. No way, bro. Oh, ten. okay. Okay. Death? Talk to me. Where are you going? Corey has no goals. Goal. They They're going to know the positioning. Oh, oh. Corey. Cheers yeah. too. I didn't know who was from. God, nah, it must have been. Oh my god. That was, that that was, was like a bit labored at the end, but that was, that was a sick map from yeah, TSM. Yes. Wow. Honestly, TSM yeah. coming in with the adjustments, adaptations, yeah. really well prepped, honestly, for what Sentinels are going to run. Yeah, absolutely agree. That was awesome. There were so many moments where Sentinels were beating them based on player quality yeah. and mad clutches, and yet they just stuck to the game plan the whole way and just grinded out of the game. Yeah, you know what I think it was? The group huddle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the synergy. Synergy. Do it. They synergize. They synergize at the start. <laughs> a lot of that also, beyond just the prep, felt like just like an in-game call and dip out of Haze. Especially in the second half, it really felt like Dev was struggling to get a read on that one. And individually was really struggling as well to get the same value out of that Cypher pick that uh, TSM had had picking into the, the Neon. So yeah. it's a tough one uh, for Sen to lose. I, I feel like a lot of times when your IGL's individually struggling, it, it often translates into the calling And as it's well. the opposite. Mm. When you're hazed and you're absolutely fragging out, it's <laughs> yeah, really easy exactly, to get dialed in exactly. on the calls. There's a couple IGLs who, once they're dialed in, just start yeah. really feeling the game and just downloading everything. The the mad part is, though, that from here, we don't have a clue where the series is going because we haven't yeah. seen Sentinels play these other two maps. Icebox. Icebox and we don't, yeah, we don't Icebox know what's going is going to be It's sick. Icebox and Haven. No pun intended. I mean, Icebox surely offers, like... Sensic. What? It's a running what? meme. It's yeah, that's... But well, you said Icebox <laughs> is going to be sick. I know, but, like... I'm just like if you said there. Icebox is gonna be cold, no pun intended, that would at least make sense. It'd be shit, but no, it makes sense. No, it's very sense <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone here like Icebox apart from me? No. I'm a big fan. Really you're a big fan? One. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you're troll. Pound no, Pound I'm it. not troll. We did our tier list. We did our map tier list, and I was a vehement defender of the box. Yeah. Okay, Wait, Bo, why are you calling her out on her opinion of the map? That's because, crazy. Because <laughs> she, 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 she's she's like, like, you can't like us. Send me that clip with the Pound it. I need to see that. I need a Pound. Maybe. Oh, God. I just egoed the shit out of you. No, you're good. I was shocked about what he was saying, too. Is that what you were like? Yeah, I was laughing. I at, you were laughing at the fact no, that she. No, I was laughing that you go and pound it. Pound it. <laughs> <laughs> As we came back for you. Oh my god. Oh, that's so that's great. Yeah. Camera didn't catch that, right? Camera didn't catch it. Sometimes, sometimes you're control. the Peppy Pains guy. It's okay to be Peppy Pains, dude. Texas is the best. Someone's, <laughs> someone's got to do it. I tell you, to take the take the reins. Oh. Does TSM win this game? Yes. This one coming up on Icebox. Ooh. I don't know because they're this series. Yeah, both. If you don't, <laughs> if they win Xbox, they win the game. You for a second. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You mean like the video game? <laughs> you have me thrown. Uh, I think the longer the series goes, the harder it gets for TSM, though, right? Because yeah. if you win this map based off the preparation, it's the player quality that's going to carry you in the unknown maps, I think, which Sentinels have. I don't know. I, I still feel like. This team has actually done a really good job of adapting when things got laid. I, I look at yesterday where they played that first series and looked really, really bad. Mm -hmm. They go into the TS, uh, the T1 series, sorry, mm -hmm. and look incredibly better today. Even like it feels like TSM is constantly making these improvements, and 
I wonder if we get deeper into the pool even, if Sentinels has the map pool for that. They've had so little practice. It too, it's two maps they haven't had to show yet. I would almost favor TSM deeper into the series. I assume both of the maps coming up as well, we'll see Zekin on like the initiator role. Sure. I assume he's going to be playing like KO or something on both of the next maps. Because mm -hmm. you're not going to play double duelist on Icebox and... Either that or it's another I mean, Pens experiment mean, or something. You would expect that they don't, but they've already done a couple of things that are yeah. a bit out of the norm. Definitely. Yeah. But I think as this progresses, they're going to continue to warm up and play better. So I'm yeah. hoping that they do continue bringing the fire here. I think Icebox is a bit of an aim map, we would all say, right? It's yeah. kind of like yeah. taking those yeah, duels. Yeah, it's an aim map so for sure. It does yeah. favor the Sentinel style <laughs> <laughs> of going for those uh, individual plays. Yeah. Uh, the, the judge is, is, is actually, it's viable on Icebox too. It's really good. It's really good. This is actually I can viable tell you. on I can tell you. <laughs> Maybe, uh, crushes. They took out Breeze, crushes. so it's not viable on Breeze, but there's plenty of He's in the labs of gold uh -huh. ranked, and he's yeah. ready for this one. But uh, <laughs> we got to get ready for the next game. Short break, Icebox on the other side. So your tears been running like a waterfall Thought the stars would never let you down And you keep on thinking you can save yourself But that's love, that's just love You should know some things will hurt Get enough of love. 
Hello, welcome back to the Ludwig Tag Invitational. Map number two coming up. We got Sentinels TSM. That's crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. crazy. That is crazy. So crazy. Holy yeah. shit, the BO3 is going to a second map? Yeah. That's hype. That's, That's wild. crazy. That's wild. And we got some intel in the break. Did we? Oh, yes, we, we did actually. We, yeah. we did get some intel. There, we, there's something to be excited about for this map for Sentinels because A, it's one of the maps they've practiced, and I think B, they've got a surprise for us, maybe in terms of the comp. I'm not sure. So they might be cooking some stuff up. Mm hmm. Guess we're gonna find last out time, soon. Last time we got a surprise for Sentinels comp, they played double duelist. I didn't like that surprise. <laughs> now we're gonna good bring out <laughs> the triple duelist. Whoa! Oh, oh, no. my. Wow, we're, we're really going level. back in the history books of Sentinels TSM. <laughs> uh, Zekin said, and I quote, mm. "We threw for content." Mm -hmm. Yep, that was a fucking lie. <laughs> Say, which is true, was however, it though? they did, well, was it though? come on. <laughs> Would you be surprised? Uh, no, but they did <laughs> say that, uh, yeah, Icebox and Haven are two maps that they've scrimmed. Fracture isn't, so I feel like they probably feel a little more confident going in to, uh, to this map as opposed to last. This um, is why I said that TSM did a little bit of the toss on the uh, map veto at the beginning. Fracture was good, though, right? Yeah. Fracture I think, was I good, think yeah. picking Fracture, especially because they played it yesterday, so they can just pick apart what they've done. Yeah. And what is the Should they have gone Pearl, you think, then? I feel like they shouldn't have got rid of Pearl and, what was it, Split or something? Right. That they got rid of, because I'd want to try and force them in that direction. Review the map that now, they went on. Where yeah, they're clearly now it's totally unknown heading into the next two maps, and you know that Sentinels have scrimmed on it and are comfortable on it. So. I think that's a valid take. Mm. But also, like, how are you going to stop them from getting what they've scrimmed on in their pick? Like, banning... Banning not, the one. Not split, obviously, but there's still multiple maps that... But, I yeah, mean, but they banned the two maps that you want to play them Okay, on. in the last in the last veto. I'm just yeah. saying, in this map, in, in the second map, you're always going to get a map that Sentinels is going to be comfortable oh, with. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. not, yeah, not going to... You're just going to start off at least, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But, uh, I mean, what? do you want to try and guess what the surprise is going to be? For Icebox? Surprise, yeah. Yoru. No oh, way. No. It's not a bad guess. Tens Yoru. Yoru. Tens Yoru, I swear. Tens. Not a bad guess. He told me. He told That's me happened himself. before. He told it's... me himself. Yeah, he told me. He told yeah, me. Yeah, he says to me, he sits here, he says to me, I'm going Yoru. Yeah, he's like, oh, Brent, don't tell anybody else, because listen, we're tight like that, but I'm going Yoru. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Tens actually came down here, punched a hole in the drywall, said, I'm fucking done losing, <laughs> and locked in Yoru for the next game. Yoru. <laughs> yeah. I think... It's mm. probably going to be Reyna, something like that. Mm. But I'm down for Reyna. Yeah. I can see, like, yeah, I feel like Reyna, like, we don't, see, like, I think Scream's the only pro player that really has played Reyna in, in the circuit, but I feel like Reyna could be viable more and so. I, I know her kit is kind of whack, but uh, depending on the map, I feel like you could pull it off. Pancada's going to play Brim mm. Mm. on Icebox. I want to, uh, Tarek, do you want to do the, the sponsor read real quick? No, nah, let me do it, Tarek. Take over. <laughs> <laughs> Not trusted. A uh, big thank you to HyperX for sponsoring this event, and the rest of this message will be read by Tarek. <laughs> <laughs> damn. Damn, damn, damn. Don't no, screw I'd love up. to do it. I'd love to do it. No, actually, though, thank you to HyperX for sponsoring the event. Without you guys and our other sponsors, it wouldn't be possible. You can use code LUDVAL to get up to 20% off at hyperx.gg slash HXVAL. Make sure to check out the HyperX giveaway where you can win a bundle containing HyperX Cloud Alpha wireless headset, Pulse Fire Haste wireless mouse, and an LOA 60% mechanical keyboard and an XL Fury S Pro mouse pad. You guys all love free shit. The link to the giveaway is in the chat, so make sure you check it out. Uh, high quality, affordable products. Uh, definitely recommend it. I vouch for it on my stream as well. Um, and yeah, we love HyperX. Thank you for making this possible. Without you guys, we wouldn't be here. You got a bundle on you. How do you like that? <laughs> I don't know. That's what I was just thinking the whole time. <laughs> you got a bundle on you. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, thank you. To oh. Oh. Thank you to HyperX, uh, and and uh, enjoy the giveaway. That's it. Just join it. Why join not? the giveaway in the chat. It's Everyone easy. loves free shit. You don't like free shit? What's Come wrong on. with you? Just also, primes are free, too, but that's a whole other thing. Don't worry about that. We don't have to <laughs> tie it in together. <laughs> are you good at farming primes? Uh, I, if I want to, I can, but I don't like using that power. Like, I don't like showing off like that, but like, <laughs> if you have a prime sub, don't use it right now. Don't use it right now. I'll you, count down. You have like I'll a superhero down. who like can't Five, trust his own strength. Four, Wha three, no. two, Wha one. Everyone prime sub now. Everyone prime sub now. Drop it. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot in the chat. Everybody. If you're on YouTube, type Pog here. Champ. Mr. CEO in the house. Oh. Welcome to the party. Hey. Uh, apparently the boys were, were thrown for, for content. Uh, we're, okay. trying to, we're trying to do a new skit. Three. It's, it's exactly. We're trying to bring it three in this way. Like We want to make it fun and funny for everyone. So uh, welcome to the party, though. Uh, you guys look like you're having fun. It's, it's been a great time. And um, what's, what's your take on the event so far? 
Well, the whole idea was to just get some reps in before we go to Brazil. Yeah. And so I know it frustrates people on the couch that our strats are primitive. <laughs> that is the plan. <laughs> but I think what you have seen is the raw skill level of this group. Yes. Feels like could be a good team. Yes. Feels like. No, I, I think they've, they've surprised not only us, but themselves as well. I was, I was talking to them a little bit, and they're like, damn, like, we didn't think we were going to turn up like this because practice has been like, they're obviously just getting into it, and like, they need more time. So I think they've uh, brought the expectations uh, to a high level uh, at this point. So, Wait, are you Rob Sentinel's Rob? Yes, I'm the person who became infamous on Friday. That's me. Hey, <laughs> I love your tweets. <laughs> <laughs> really <good>. Excellent. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to go on a whole discourse about what happened last year, which couldn't have been a worse season for us, but it feels like we've turned a page and that the group we have feels like they're getting along and ready to put in the work. Yeah, you have Pancata, Saucy, Zek, and yeah, we, we saw it. By the way, <laughs> I, loved your I, loved your com I loved your comments about Kobe and Shaq. Shaq and Kobe or Jordan and Pippen? Or Jordan and Pippen. That I mean, is like what those guys look like. In the raw skill. The only level. problem with that comment is it, it, it feels bad for death. <laughs> <laughs> but you need Phil Jackson in the No, it's Phil Jackson. Yeah, Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson. Because, by the way, who was the crossover to both? Steve Kerr. Phil Jackson. Steve Kerr. Well, nice. Phil Technically, Jackson. Technically, not Steve Kerr, actually. <laughs> I don't know why I said Steve Kerr. <laughs> Steve Kerr. No, I like panicked. I panicked. It's like a Phil hard trivia question. So that's right. Jeff. Okay. Okay. Phil Jackson getting the best out of those four. Okay, great. Good to know. That's the thought process. The thought I'm process. excited to see how it goes this year. I do think that the win that um, the guard had last night, like the 16-14, would be a much different story six months from now. But it's oh, also yeah, possible, yeah. like, you know, guard levels up in a way that that um, we don't expect, where we do expect Sentinels to level up because they've only been together a week. Yeah, the current Sentinels, Russell, reminds me of Loud from last year, where they, they were obviously really... Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's weird. They have, like, a couple of players that remind yeah. me of that. No, they, they got better and better over the course of the year. They had, like, a little downswing in the middle. But they were always focused on the end of the year because they knew that they were going to get better in a year's time, good enough to win a championship. Yeah. They weren't focused on winning like the first tournament they went into. They were f always focused long every time projects, we talked to them. Right? Yeah, mm, every yes. time we talked to them, they were like, we don't really care about this tournament. We care about winning champions at the end of the year, which, I mean, they went and won it. So, yeah, so I mean, straight up, Sentinels strategy. are only here just because just ho we're hosting this, me and Ludwig. So uh, I don't think otherwise they would have come out. Like they literally, on a week of practice, um, and they're just here to support You're as well. telling me you have the clout to drag the entire team wherever you want. Well, well, me and Rob have the entire, <laughs> to the entire team. <laughs> the two of us combined together, uh, we pulled it off. So, uh, but I think overall, it, they, I'm, I think they've been enjoying it too. Like the getting the chemistry on land together, it builds the confidence as well. Um, so yeah, I mean the match is not over by any means either. No, but it is a complicated dynamic, right? Yeah. Of we've got this giant tournament in Brazil, and you're trying not to give too much away, but you also don't want to be embarrassed. But yes. as you said, the, at the end of the day, sometimes just the raw skill overpowers strategy. Yeah, no, it is a risk that they're taking coming here for sure uh you know you could shoot yourselves in the foot if you don't you know live to the expectations that the fans have and sentinels fans as we all know they do have very high expectations of our team um but no i think i think overall we've seen that you know anything's possible with them i missed the surprise it was second on kj oh they're playing the duelist list comp with the ko in the mix mm -hmm. wait can we see uh, the, the team <laughs> yeah, can we take, 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 take a second look at that agent comp? Yeah, since I distracted you all. No, it's great. Damn no, it, Rob. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, the chat. Okay, the, the chat needs to go through. There oh, there we go. There we go. Oh. Okay. Yeah, broadcast is kind of nuts. Let's go. Thank you, guys. Let's Thank go. you, production. Uh, ooh, say. That's wild. That guys, they're picking them live. Right they're redoing so the pictures for us. Yeah, 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 this is live. The server, came back in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, so they got tens playing chamber? Oh, so uh, no. Corey's on Jet. No. Tense uh, is on the KO. KO. Right. Do they have right, no right. duelists? Yeah, no yeah. Yeah. duelists. Is that viable? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. A lot of teams We're going to make it viable. Like <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot more heck? viable when it was Chamber, but... Um, yeah, that yeah. makes sense, because Chamber's basically a duelist. I mean, used to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. I, I don't know. I feel like this is going to work based off whether Zekin can get involved in all of the fights as the Killjoy. Because the other, the other part of this is that often the Sage is going to do a lot of the aggressive stuff in this comp, and that's Def, mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. I don't really want to get involved at the front of the pack too often. Yeah. 
Um, so uh, I think that's going to be a lot of pressure on Zekin and Tens to do stuff in unusual roles. I'm imagining on attack, it's going to be almost all the lurking left to Benkata, and then it's just going to be like your Killjoy second entrying, getting into the site, and then you can kind of back out, get your mollies up in the post plant. Because there is like, there, there's value in Killjoy lurking, but I think on a map like this, having her closer to have that, that uh, flank turret up and also the mollies up is pretty good. And it also works well with that, with his play style. POV, your luggage. POV, your luggage. <laughs> Rob, what's your score prediction for this, uh, for this map here? 13-11, Sen. Ooh, Ooh, it's going to be a close game. game for the content. Sen's in fashion. <laughs> Love it. I think one of the big advantages of these no duelist comps before was that you ran the chamber and the KO. Mm -hmm. So you had just global information everywhere on defense, which you don't actually have with this comp. Instead, you've got to, yeah, you know, you, you, could, you could save the wall if you're running the yeah. Um, the, the Sage it's Chamber not, Killjoy. I mean, it's you, not you as bad really. with the Sovereign and the KO. Let's see it. I'm flabbergasted that Tens is not on Jet. Oh, they're just taking a fight straight up. That's actually so true. Like, like <laughs> this is probably the first time we've ever seen anything close to this, right? Where Tens is playing on Icebox where it's a Jet map and he's just not playing yeah. Jet. Remember, this is the first tournament. He's like literally played anything but like Jet and yeah, Chamber. He's like had one-offs of other things, but he's never consistently played anything else. So this is very new to him, but I do think the roles make sense. Um, he looked really solid on the KO, I felt, uh, when we did see especially that fracture game yesterday, but Corey. No way. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh my, across the ropes. Huh? One enemy remaining. Well, hold on, Assassi, just a bit of a pre fire in the corner. And Hazed already looking like a beast. Yeah. <laughs> I've been so off. impressed with how good mm -hmm. Hazed is, man. It's just raw Turn aim is sick. There was... is nothing worse than that Sage Wall as well when you're going up and you're trying to go for the heavy A hit. They put down our save wall, the Sage Wall on the one side of 410. You can't break it easily on a pistol round. It just funnels you into that one area. Look, they just know exactly which direction they're going to be coming yeah. from. And it's uh, it's the guy up top there, Tens, that needs to start opening things, but it's really difficult still from his position. Yeah. It just gets shut down instantly because Seven's aware of it. They're doing stinger it. Bro. They're doing stinger it. Bro. The Stinger round. They're yeah. actually full buying. It's not the quintuple Stinger no armor. They're, yeah. they're, they're just actually forcing. Well, Rob, no armor is kind of strange, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know if your mic is... Uh, we might not be able to oh, hear you. Oh, is it on you, yet? Okay. It's on. Yeah. That, oh, Rob, as a CEO, uh, how do you feel about the economics of the Stinger buys? <laughs> 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 yeah. Stress is the finances of the world, I would imagine. I, I, think, I think Rob's take is on it. As long as they win the round, we don't really care how they get it done. That's nice pretty nice start. Dart. Yeah. You get the plan off. They're just trying to bait and pull out utility here, just tapping it. Oh, no one's covering for death when he's planting. No one got in front of the wall. Position. Everyone dropped back into post plants yeah. before the spike got planted. That's a big miss from Sen. Is the wall being piss green a glitch? Yeah, because yeah. the Viper stuff touches it and turns green. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so it's, maybe that's what happens in real life. <laughs> yeah, it is, actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, when you pee on J, What color it turns is your piss? Green. What? <laughs> what? That's like a radioactive green. We don't got to talk about this right now. <laughs> Not with Rob here. Let's be classy. Okay, okay. <laughs> we'll keep it chill. That's a rough start for Sen. I mean, same, same start that they had on Fracture, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They lost both pistols and both stinger buys that game as well. So 0 for 3 right now. Did they go that. for a so stinger buy in the second? I believe so. Yeah. One enemy yeah. Sometimes this it is... works, sometimes it doesn't. Test your luck with the stingers. It's early in the game, but does bode well for the team who has the game point. All right, show me some sheriff magic right now. Who's it going to be? Five sheriffs, five gamers. Five shares, five headshots. Interesting setup here for GMD. Most of the time when people play Killjoy on the map, it's that uh, that mid turret where you can see both inside of Kitchen and anyone crossing under tube to allow that kind of solo anchor on B. Yeah. But instead, he's allowing his jet player to be there and Ooh. setting up the turret to support. So I like them having a couple different variations on it. Spread is so nice with that, KJ. Yeah. I also feel like Corey's... Oh, Whoa, that just, was the wrong person. Corey's gonna, yeah, it was. <laughs> 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 Corey's going to be able to run around them over here. I mean, He's going to have support to dodge drone. As he can get around the knife. He's got dash, you know, like. He's just got so much more mobility than yeah. the rest of Sentinels who are going to be trying to flush him out of the area. And on top of that, he has a lot of freedom. With this Killjoy setup, he could leave the B site and still have full information with this KJ setup. I think it's well, last year uh, for TSM, Corey was playing Chamber on this map and he had no freedom to move around. It's really exciting to see him on, on Jet and being able to actually be a little bit more loose because he was always in the back line, not really doing much with his team. 
Talk about people being loose left. as well. When we the one map we've seen Tens play KO so far, he was playing pretty tight to the team, pretty disciplined. Just ooh, ooh. you know, ended the series, ended the map with like 20 assists. Just always working off his team. One remaining. This compy needs to be a bit looser. Okay. Okay. Ooh. One v three. Stay cooking. Kind of head up though. The movement. It's tough. Yeah, that's that tough. Bomb plan plus two. You know, it, it, I feel like, I, and these guys are pro players, so I'm sure they're consummate professionals, but it feels bad that you have such a CT-sided team mm -hmm. and you're starting on T-side because mm -hmm. you, you, you shouldn't win as many rounds with no duelist. Like, you should be having a bigger advantage on CT, but they're going to start probably down a major amount because of that. I mean, to be fair, yeah. I think there is a strength to this comp. I, I think you can struggle with these, like, full-out A hits because you don't have that dive to get deep. And it also seems like they're really separating out tens alone. But towards B, this comp is really good. If you just push them off, get in a post plant, like, most teams who play this kind of build it around that post plant uh, and trying to yeah. play off that, but they haven't really lent that way. Just I mean, yet. The, the other big thing is that Sen's ults are crazy once they start getting online. They have yeah. so many big ults to take a site. The, the KO ult is great. The lockdown is fantastic as well. Viper post plant. Like, they have so many good tools to work with, but that only starts kicking in like round six. I want to see Pankata get activated on this lurk immediately because... He wasn't actually playing Viper for, for Loud last year. He was playing Sage, I think, on this map, and Les was playing, so. playing the Viper. So this is a new role for him, and I want to make sure that he's comfortable on it. He's just looked so good so far, like, this tournament. Mm -hmm. I, I doubt he'll miss a beat. I really like what they're doing with this Killjoy turret here. This is uh, a turret that'll watch that under two peak, so Pencata can swing off of it and activate that Lurk early. So slow though, right? Mm -hmm. This pace. I think they're just waiting for the rotation again because, like, they need the, the dart back on line, the knife back on this, line. This drone is going to be crazy deep from Sassy unless I, someone breaks it. I love that nano Viper Molly combo as well. It's really hard to get through that choke. And GMD still has potentially more to pop. Oh. Yep. Good shock darts from Sassy so that the nano swarms could yeah. hopefully not be there. Right here. Good by 10. Nice and that play. drops the alarm bot, but Corey is ready for it. That's that, a big kill onto Pancata. Good yeah. awareness from Corey, that clearing kitchen. Ooh, that's a tough okay. spot. It's a long angle. Uh, it's, 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 small it's a bad wall. Wait, they didn't realize. They don't realize. Oh, no, they didn't oh, no wait, he's wait, just going to sit here. God. They didn't break over? the wall? I think I think they thought as soon as he stuck that he got off because of the fact oh. that the wall was already broken because it was on the spike. So yeah, missing the wall actually worked. Assumption though, right? Like, <laughs> like they didn't even bust the wall. I guess yeah, that orb that was up on uh, B main kind of made it hard to peek out. Uh... Damn, GG's flying in chat. It's still early. <laughs> <laughs> Twitch chat. The the other thing that they're really missing here though is. If Ten stays alive, he's got a great angle to break that part of the wall. The other guys over in the other side have to swing out kind of wide yeah, into yeah. the one way. way yeah, it's a big wide. Viper one way. It's kind of hard for them to break the wall. So Ten's just over peeking, dying there, cost them big in the post plant. They got another spike plant though, so they do have a buy and they could actually use the second ult like you talked about earlier. This KJ ult is super, super strong. And there's no way they can break Ooh. it. Corey is just going to stay in here for as long as possible to try and get a pick. Yeah, this is... He's fully disrespectful. Oh, my God. He's, he's taking the, the tan. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, okay, he's though, out with yeah. the rest of his team. They have struggled to get the plant down in these rounds, but this one should be free. His, notice his notice his how no one's in front of the wall to help death, though, at all. They're all dropping back into such passive positions, and Death's on an island. That could be really bad. They have the Sage Wall and Haze ult as well. They if they get off. close, they yeah. could easily bye bye Death. the spike. No oh, way! Flash out of tens. Flash, yeah. That's perfect from him. He will yeah. die, but now they're pushing forward past this wall. That's a lot of damage. It's just kind of alone. Oh, this is so tough. Here That's comes Seven's Wall. Shot. They got a couple mollies. Pencata's yeah. mollies already used. They'll have no u more utility after this. He's so low. Damn, Corey with the molly. Time running low. If you gotta swing it, gotta swing it. It's not half. Didn't get half. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, yeah, it's a win. It's a win. Wow. wow. 1v3. That is yeah. so Big clutch. Close. Big clutch up. They need that. That's still such yeah. a close I round. Mean, <laughs> Sentinels win yeah, that. that was like oh. they, they fight two vanilla. They lose squeaky, man. Every player. And... Yeah, the money. Well, actually, they can't get a buy. Yeah, they can still, armor, but. still cobble a buy together. That's considering they got the site for free because of the lockdown, and they, that's purely like retake simulator yep, yep, round. Yep. That was still really close. 
Might be a good time for a timeout, honestly. Sentinels have been pretty proactive. Yeah, and you have outs. to you have to figure out how to you want to approach the ult situation on TSM. They've got a lot of big stack. I feel like that's one of the things that can be difficult for for new teams. You saw T1 struggling with this um, or with this yesterday, where when you're in those post plants, it can be kind of tough when you're not used to each other to set up in those crossfires. Yeah. This is multiple rounds now where someone has been left forward in a post plant because it's like, oh, we have these mollies. We've practiced playing this post plant far back, yeah. but they don't quite have that timing perfect to shift modes. It worked this time, but that's exploitable in the future for TSM. Look how does bold. not care. Corey's he so does bold not care. <laughs> because he knows that they're going to use a drone. The jump right. shot onto tens. He, he legged him. He doesn't see anybody pushing up off the back of the knife. He doesn't hear a drone coming out, so he's just content to stay on a deep line. But double walking up here in kitchen. Alarm bot's here, so they'll get spotted. They ping it out. They just wait. When, when does tens have his knife back? Is there any chance here that GMD gets caught? He's got with a bite. Oh, that'd be big. Hit. Ah, uh, no. GMD's just oh backed God. up. I mean, Corey. He's going to disrespect us again. Great oh. jump spot. TSM this really thought they were going to hit This drone could be huge. They spot one. Oh, he's not going to know about the second. Wait, wait, wait. He has no baited. idea. Yep. Oh, that's a Just perfect so good. Such a perfect bait. And now they should get spike plant for free on the other side. Def actually just walled now. Ooh. Oh. Cheeky. Pence is getting a... Uh, Cheeky? Yeah. Is this a good idea, though, when you have a player advantage in the post plan? Definitely not a good idea, oh, but, but if he makes it work, we're not going to say anything. <laughs> he, he went one for one. He got traded one. out, he traded out. I think that's fine as well, because it distracts from Pankada's flank. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice round, honestly. That was a really nice round. Yeah. The bait in mid was... Yeah. It was very disciplined as well. Not getting caught out by Corey with the op. Yeah, the two op by Corey make the eco kind of weird here for TSM. Yeah. I wonder what happens, though, yeah. If, yeah. Na if nature doesn't over push into mid there. What, what, how does Sentinels get that opening in the round? You know, if these two kills don't happen, if they just are content to push second away, do Sentinels really have an opening there to yeah, go I into Yeah, I think you're, you're pushing Corey off with the op and you potentially get the spike plant and then you have two people pressuring Kitchen like really well. Yeah, yeah, it just goes into a normal B hit with mm -hmm. a post plant. Uh, post plant flank. You eyeing this food over here? Yeah, I am eyeing the food over there. I just saw it getting placed. Yeah, so just so you know, your team's down a game. <laughs> 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 no, they're, they're just playing with their food right now. Don't worry about it. Nice. It is funny nice to watch like this that. next to Rob because every time Tens gets a kill, he goes boom. <laughs> 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 I'm just sitting here listening. <laughs> the mic's out of his mouth. He's just saying it. He's just you got to keep the mic off. Yeah. The audience has got to hear that. Ooh, ooh. Nice. He's second. like all Twitch chat. That was a, fast that was a really nice yeah. round for Sen. I mean, they just barrel. See what happened after everything. Twitch said, said GG. What yeah, happened? that's true. Yeah. 3 0 in favor of Sentinels. That A hit was so nice as well. They actually were just holding the back of the side this time. Not just backing off. I mean, they were against a half by. Maybe that's why they got the confidence. But these yeah. players should not be lacking confidence. No, absolutely. Right? <laughs> they should be taking. They should be taking fights. They should be holding. Yeah. Another op for Corey. And this is where you see the the ult game really come in. Yes. Tens is ult into Pancada's ult for the post should win you a round, and this is going to break and TSM's economy if they execute it well. And they should be happy to challenge Corey right now as well with the sage res up. Ooh. Wow. That's, he had an op, right? Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. did. He did. Sh I mean, they're happy to take that no matter what, because Corey has to dash away. I'm in your head. I just hear Rob giggling behind me every time he gets a kill. The that couch is just getting well. slowly yeah, more and more biased. Here's the KO. Kill gave him his ult, I think. I was talking to the players, and even some of them that normally use the Vandal uh, at this event, because we're on land, they, they say the Phantom is just way too crisp. Like, the shots just go so precise direct uh, exactly where you're aiming. Yeah. Oh, it's so, uh, down. The Phantom seems to be... They were the really, really choice. concerned about this lockdown, and this is why they get pushed off so easily. Are this going to run B? There's still a lot of time in a round, I think. Wait, wait. They, they do the Sentinel thing B. where they just stay quiet and then re-hit. So so yeah, wait, does he have the timing? Oh, this positioning. If he hides... Oh, this is going to be so good. Beautiful. Oh, I don't sucks. think anyone expects this. You can tell he's done this before. Wait. He got oh, spotted. Oh, no, no. He didn't get spotted. Still got one, though, to be fair. Is that going to have a lockdown up? No, oh, he did. Tough, rope tough. Maneuver. He's too off. Well played by Sen. Damn. Still a lot of damage. They have rest. rest back up. I think the they can beat Wait. the timing to get back in day, though. They Low didn't go fast enough. Low yeah, everyone's second here, after dying there, he's one off yeah, or. Yeah, he is one off it, though. They're very weak, though. They're very weak. Any amount of spawn. Oh, wow. 
Fifteen. Still seconds. winnable. Still winnable. Good trade. They're right on top. Seven of this. is a bump. No time. No time. He's gonna drop in. That's huge. Ten. They can still go down. One v one. Pancada wins these. Oh wait. Oh my time, God. Time. 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 No. No. He's close. He's close. He's close. Damn. You're for a crazy play. That's such oh a my. bold so move to do bold. with the pit up, too right? Because you have such a, a small amount of vision. He's yeah. spammable He's behind that box, too much. I don't know why I'm talking shit like it's not Pancada, who's the best in this building. He's been the best clutch <laughs> player. He's been the best clutch yeah. player. Yeah, I just wouldn't have done that if I was in Pancada's spot. <laughs> it, was a, it was a strange play, to be fair. Rob, if you signed me, you would have won that round. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's a rough one. And that's a lot of ults being used on both sides, Damn. and it stops TSM's economy from getting broke. I think, again, shows the uh, inexperience together and just, like, not necessarily getting the reps yet and not having a protocol for when there's a KJ ult and a Sova ult up and you want to get your pit down. Because it, there, they all ran away, and it e felt a little bit like confusion. Even on the re-hit, when Def goes for the plant, nobody's covering him, and he gets, a, like, wide swung and spammed through the box. Yep. That, yep. I feel like, is a massive flaw right now with how Sentinels are playing, is that they're just leaving Def to plant, and they're just like, you'll be fine on your own, right? You got you'll this, be, bro. You got this, you're a sage. <laughs> <laughs> and compare that to, as well, as how Haze instantly went on the rope after, his lock after the lockdown, gets into Nest. Like, you could tell that's something that they've practiced, it's something that they've yeah. talked about. Seven's got res here, so I imagine he plays a bit safe. But KJ ults in again. Dude, again, Corey Ooh. just disrespecting him. Look at this guy. The ults. I think he was actually ready to die in the ults yeah. right there. Wow. It's the nope. most common play, too, of someone running out. Last they want to go fast on this retake. Yeah. Jimmy is already out. Oh, there's a flank, by the way. A little too quick yeah. for Jimmy. And there's a flank on the... F oh, the timing, they miss did it. They yeah. Wait, they no, missed they each didn't. other. Hayes did not see I Pancata. think Pancata's flank is going to be more impactful. Wait, he's going back to mid? Dude! Oh, oh, oh nature's so aware. Oh, the legs are blocking. Yeah, yeah, and look, Hayes like, falls off rezzing, the flank right? now. This is yeah. so good. Oh, he's spike on spike. Just sticking it. Just sticking it. Yeah. Well done. Well, I, I wonder if someone called out nice. that mid was an option, or he's just checking it out. I think it's just because they're resing, yeah. so they're being yeah, as careful as possible. Yeah. Because yeah. if they're not resing, they're pushing into the site, and they don't even care. Yeah. Like. yeah TSM have been looking clean, honestly, with the retakes. TSM playing, turned up. They've been playing around the ults as well. I mean, the, the previous two rounds, I think, when the Nulk man's coming in, you see Hayes playing off site so that the Viper Wall can stay up. Stops them from execing. They just have a good idea of how Sentinels are going to be playing with this comp. Yeah, I really need Sen to pick one of the players to go up much more aggressively with Def as they get into sites. I think it's got to be Tens. I think at the moment he's just hanging back a little bit too much. Playing, what a read, though, out of for the frags. Three players set up towards B. And I don't think they've played this angle up top box before. Oh, yeah, this Corey has to <sighs> this drone, though. Corey's on top. He can't even break it. So Hayes is Spot alone. one. I mean, Corey's is baiting in this case, right? Like, yeah. I feel like if you see this Viper fighting up, fighting up so aggressively, you expect more than one, right? Sure. Look how confused Sentinels are at how they should approach and punish that. One Viper Molly, and they've allowed Hayes just to leave. And this has been a that lot of oh God, too. That's so unfortunate so that he couldn't sit in the corner. Hey, Corey's still on top you, of you this box. And, I mean, they used the drone prior. You can't clear this now. you got to use the dart now. This box gets uh, good. it's unchecked. Yeah, yeah Corey, Corey gets value here, I think, every checked. time. Tens flicks yeah. him. Tens right, flicks patience, him. Patience, patience, patience. up and this around the ace. Is he on left hand? <laughs> oh! I just jinxed him so hard. That I just jinxed so him so hard. That, that's actually uh, sick from those guys. It's the next level fake no clear into actual oh, clear. What? Ooh, the dots? Where did he kill him from? Through the box. That's Honestly, ridiculous. keep the camera off Zekin, because he's just killing people that we have no idea from where. <laughs> Is Tens trying to get boosted up on the wall? What's what's he up to there? I think he just wants to like run out there and kill them all. Yeah, I feel like that. <laughs> you know how so you you have a dog and it strains on the yeah, end of a it's leash. Like we're trying to pull <laughs> yeah. It back in. yeah, come back, man. We got the man advantage. Cut. Tens, heal, <laughs> heal, Tens, <laughs> heal. <laughs> That's what they were talking about when they were talking about command calls. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh. bring it to me. One bring it to me. Yeah. Okay. Clean, 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 clean. 
Yeah. I mean, Zekin went nasty that round. But did you see how they all went underneath? Like They all crouch yeah. walked underneath B so that they arrive outside on the back of Corey's box. It's yeah. a really good the way of clearing of that position. presence of mind to clear it. Yep. Because Corey can't see them unless he's looking behind him. And then, you know, it's hard to watch everything from up front. there as well. Yep. You just hope that it goes yeah, look, look here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he just instant peeked him too. Yeah, yeah. but they, yeah. they crouch walked all the way yeah, underneath yeah, yeah, so yeah. they're out of his vision. It's good way of clearing that. Yeah. Good awareness from Sen. Damn, their money shot actually TSM on a half by here. Yeah, and I think five rounds is like good enough for Sentinels with this squad they have. Yeah, probably. That's kind of cool. I've never seen that Sage we or the, the orb to the dark side. I'm a game three enjoyer. Three, I'm a game three, three, three enjoyer. Big. <laughs> That's big. And, and if Rob wasn't here, trust me, I would be <laughs> I disrespectful. I, would I would respect. Be, I, I'm respectful. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like the camera's just me standing. Yeah, like, just <laughs> <laughs> look like some reject from the Outsiders movie. Standing man emoji. <laughs> Stop! Just move it to someone else. <laughs> what, are, what are we doing over here? <laughs> Easy plants here. I I do like the way that Tense is getting up with Death on these just to hold plants. the angle. Yeah, yeah, maybe it is for the I cover factor, right? I think that time his positioning was quite a bit better. Like, he's able to punish anybody that tries wow. to run through the wall. He's swung out a bit wider, so he's got a good crossfire. Ooh. It's not planted for a second's reflank. It should be fine. He's Sassy not needs going to stay alive here. Oh, very cool. Kind of nice. Again, that was a flash from Tens there. They're speaking off of. Didn't get the flash, but still so good. This is too much, I think. Yeah. Five. Yeah, this is a big recovery in the half from Sentinels. It, it, I mean, I think you made a good call that the B site was the way better option for this team because of what they can do post plant, and uh, and that's like the main rounds they've won. It's been yeah, B -side. It has yeah. been. Yeah. I also like the, the the discipline from Second. He, he was gonna try and go for a reflank, realizes that, the, that they're close on yellow, and then it's not planted for him. He won't have time. Doesn't commit to it. Goes back to to play with tens and secure that round. Yeah, my boy Zekin wicked smart. <laughs> Saw that chemistry homework. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> keeps him fresh. I'd like to see Corey playing over towards B again. Um, might not have impact this round because it looks like they're going towards A to start off with, and he's, he is open there, so he's got the right read. But I think in terms of how the defense is set up, having Corey challenge them, break the drone early, force them to use a lot of that utility is going to make it easier to uh, stop the B hits coming through, remove some of the util for the post plant. And they, they just faked a bit of pressure on A, and it's kept yeah. Corey rooted. So now they don't have to deal with the op moving around the map. They're doing the double, double lurk again, right? Yeah. Which worked out previously. And I again, that turret is... makes sure no one reflanks them, so they're pretty safe to just well, chill it's actually out here just and wait. Turned off. It might be just a split. Oh, yeah, you're right. Just like, we go for it. They have uh, Viper ult, uh, probably on, on contact. Oh, that's a deep knife from Tens trying to catch the Killjoy for the flank. Yeah. And uh, GMD just dodges Oh, he saw again. both! He did? Yeah, I yeah, think I so, think yeah. So. Uh, doesn't matter. But GMD's Ooh. dead, it won't matter now. What is James popping Ooh. that Viper? Oh, he Unless just nature it. kills them both. This is good delay. Plants coming in. Oh, that's the so big no? from nature. They're sticking this. Oh, he survived it. Oh, I missed it. Okay. Oh, wow. He was the Cade. Pits down. Sassy no, pits. could oh, be the sorry, playmaker. Yeah. Yeah. This play right now, repositioning. Oh, no. 1v4. Oh, oh my god. Oh my oh, god. Nice try. He went for the trigger this That's tough. Yeah, I guess he had to. It's the only way he's winning the round, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, that Sen getting a 7-5 half is good for them, considering what we were talking about at the beginning. Yeah. yeah, I think it is. It's definitely winnable, but TSM are in the controlling position. Sure. It, it feels like Fracture still, in the sense that like TSM, game plan-wise, strategically-wise, is, is doing a really good job. I mean, those A retakes were just monstrous over and over and over. And that's prep. Yeah. This half, I'm looking a lot at uh, Tens on the KO. He's been really solid thus far, but uh, with this composition where you don't have that duelist to fight forward, mm. a lot of time you're letting them in deep and then like flashing through a Viper wall as they're executing. And if he's getting a lot of value on that, he can really cripple TSM. Because I think similarly, they will want to play into yeah. like kind of getting forward, get Corey a pick, spike down, and then you're just playing the post plant like Sen was in the second half of that first half, second quarter, something like that. So, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I feel like when, when you have a no duelist comp though, and you have a lot of really strong players, on the supportive roles like second, 
you can start to flash for a, a wider variety of people, right? You're not mm -hmm. necessarily just flashing only for tens, for example. And you could set up your, your you could set up Pankata, you could set up Sasa, you could set up Zekin. All of that is possible for tens on defense. I feel like today is kind of showing to some degree how much yesterday was covered up by tens' jet performance. Mm. Uh, the gaps in Sentinel's mm -hmm. uh, playbook, which haven't developed because they're a new team at the moment were patched up pretty th insanely by 10s just dropping 30 <laughs> <laughs> on, on yeah. jet. But it's not something that you're going to be able to rely on once you get to bigger and bigger leagues. It's not something you can rely on at Sapala. So I like that they've spent today drilling comps that rely more on the teamwork. I think that's going to benefit them more in the long term. But it does showcase that, you know, there's still a lot to be worked on for this squad. Two suppressed. It is just a five-man A hit for TSM. That's a, so oh, that's a lot of info. Yeah. Exposed to so info. many angles. Oh, they're, gonna oh, they're doing the safe plant. Yeah, they do want to just play this post plant fully. Cool Nothing to stop TSM it. TSM with the mollies. Sen have used... I, I'm guessing that's because they saw that Sen used the sage wall already, so they know they can't get sage wall retake. Yeah. You need Ooh. to be breaking that wall. There needs to be a protocol to break at least two portions of the wall right before away, you ever right. go for the retake. Yeah. yeah. And TSM oh. doing a really good job of <laughs> just getting more. No, no that, was a, that, was, that was definitely That's troll. Yeah. yeah. I do like how Hayes immediately put his orb down on this spike, though, too. Pancada? My god, he's doing parkour. Yeah, there's some Molly orb. They don't know. Oh, they no! What? Oh, oh he had the third, too. The Mollies are in, though. No oh. round. He can't even tap the bomb yet. Safe hands from GMD. <laughs> he was feeling it. Dude, Pancada just farming clips. Yeah. <laughs> like, actually, th that was almost insane. That was. Not a single pistol round one on the day for Sentinels. Yeah. yeah. It's another instance there on the pistol, though, again, where it's obvious when you're watching Tenses POV that mm. when you watch the top teams play, they go, they break that wall. They, they get behind it, they knife it up a little bit, and then they break it together, and then they go for the retake. Whereas Tenses has got a little gap, yeah. and he wants to get a cheeky kill, and he's like thinking about the play that he can make yeah. instead of the best thing that would help move the round forward and help them with the retake. That, that's the kind of stuff that needs to be drilled out of Tens in order for him to fulfill his potentials being one of the best players Maybe in the world. he even makes the calm, like, hey, let's break this wall right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And you but, can but compare that's what that. He's, that's where he's going to be at a year from now, I think. Mm -hmm. Or half a year from now, I think. I think. I hope. With these players around him. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Compare be. that to DSM, who on defense was always insta-breaking that wall and insta-taking those fights, which is why it was really troublesome for Sentinels to get deaf to plant pretty much ever when they were leaving him alone. One or two. None. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Bold, Optimistic. Bold. I respect it. I respect that. Very difficult to get back when you've lost Wait, all of the pistols in the series. Yeah, it is. Wait, this one is crazy. Ball. Like a high low setup. That's a guys, guys. I've got the tech. Yeah, yeah. guys, guys. <laughs> We're in a 5v2 and they have classics. Let's style on them. That's what that is. I think Hayes was expecting like some kind of mid aggression there. He was just currying it and spawn for the entire round. Currying it. <laughs> I don't think Curry will ever live that down. That was like a year and a half ago. <laughs> that is just a curry spot now though. Deep even even EU players call it curry yeah, spot. Even my rank <laughs> team that's, that's, that's what I comes to mind as well. Yeah. I mean, there's not a yeah. lot of player name spots. Sabrosa, there's a curry spot. Some people call it shroud to the right on ascent. Are there any others? I, I, yeah, there's not too many. At least, I know teams have some, but I'm I don't think there's like any that are in like the common, mm -hmm. the common vocabulary. vernacular. Yeah. I'm noticing that they tend to be named after the greatest of the greats. Mm -hmm. what? Sabrosa. The great, yeah, Sabrosa, you know, Shroud. Right here. Mm -hmm. Uh, Are you memeing right now? No, no, no. Some of the greatest <laughs> players to touch the game of all time. <laughs> Why do you think I'm memeing? Uh, cause, cause, uh, I've got a, I don't know. Just yeah. just Are you implying that you wouldn't like to team with Shroud? Are you implying that I'm implying that? <laughs> yeah, already, this is going to be a rough round. And this is the one that Sen needed to win, honestly, with the yeah, this bonus, spending right? all their money and yeah, hey, it ain't bonus. over. It's not, but losing my card is rough. They yeah, they know there are at least two players <laughs> yellow as well. They don't have any utility to deny plant here. No nade, no nano swarms. I mean, they the could flash through this. Sassy in, yeah. Never mind, they can't. Wow. <laughs> it's gonna be hard. 
I mean, yeah, but they don't have point, Sage Ball either, so. This might even just be a save. Oh. Damn, everyone just fell apart. <laughs> TSM literally just won yeah. all the duels. Yeah. They just took the fights and won them. And then winning the bonus. Yeah, that's going to make things much harder for Sentinels. Didn't even plan for the money. Do you get money if you plan after the round ends? You do. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Kind of disrespectful. With TSM are three rounds away from having both of the tier two teams being in the grand final. Yep. Mm -hmm. T1 and Sentinels going home first. The partner teams. That's crazy. Hmm. I'm going to have to defend the partner teams. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're here to entertain you all, but the mm. big thing for us is Sao Paulo. Yeah, that's yeah. that's right? very like, true. For the tier two teams, this is the start of their yep. season. Rob, the partnership can I league is just mad because bad. <laughs> <laughs> But this also is just going to show how incredibly good like challengers and ascension is going to be it next is, year and night. There it, is a ridiculous amount of talent that didn't get picked up on the on the tier one teams. And don't get me wrong, I think Sentinels is on pace to like go up astronomically from here. A defense to Rob's point, and I won't leak them, but um, certain teams backed out because they didn't want to reveal their strats for Sao Paulo. So I think. There's like we don't have any strats because we just haven't even practiced yet. So that's the beauty of Based. it, really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I think there's advantage to like having the chemistry and playing a LAN event before that. Yep. That Sentinels was like down to do this for. Um, and same with Team One, but a lot of the other teams weren't even down to compete for that reason. The majority of partnership teams will be going in raw to Sao Paulo. So respect to, to these two for showing up and getting the practice online. It's also not over yet. I just said, you know, maybe. Yeah. Ten five. <laughs> It's Rob be doesn't have the mic to his mouth, but he just said it's kind of over. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> POV, your Shazam, I, and this is called Rob. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's so brutal. Wait, they're doing this. This is all over the place right Sassy now. Yeah. is getting One. three kills. There's no time. Oh. Guys, keep down him. Wait. Damn, yeah, he's in the plus five there. Eight seconds, Wait. though. That's not spy. He's got it now. Plant's coming in. He oh, he it. faked it like he did. Oh! oh! Play by GMD. Wow. With that time? Are you kidding me? Such safe hands. What a play. GMD. Two rounds in a row where he's Gotta saved respect it. respect it. The pan caught a magic. Where is it today? I right, map one. True. That was still today. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah. actually is a fair point. The 1v2. Yeah, it's about I forgot 30 about that. minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, Sassy did a great job with the Bulldog there, but... And they took so much time off. Sentinels are using their utility really well to delay TSM, but they just didn't quite have the weaponry on everybody else to make that one work. GMD has killed Joe out. They're heading yeah. towards B. I don't think they're even going to use it early. I'm guessing they'll try and save it for post plant and, and wait late. That can I mean, be so powerful. That ult stack is not as strong against Sentinels, though, because they have Sassy with his sure. ult, so... Uh, I think you honestly have to use it early to bait it out. Oh, yeah, or you go for the plant and hope that Sassy uses run. it to try and deny the plant. Yeah. I don't think he even commits it here. Yeah, he's not going to. Uh, they're all too far away anyways. Oh, really but this is just here. to push them back into Haze. If a player goes mid, there's a chance he could get a kill here, but I don't think anyone is going to push that direction. Don't challenge that there. That's coming in. Oh, it's going to come out, right? From Sassy. There it is. That's a bit oh, early. That's before the... Oh, no, that was off the... Plant tap. Yeah, it was. The, Sevens the, used the wall. Can they yeah. break the wall so that it's more difficult for them to plant next time? Yeah, they've done well, the, it. Yep. Does the ult break it now? But now it's just... No, I just mean, can other people spam it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, no. Yeah, I the ult does I think do the damage breaks to it. it now. Yeah. He's dying there is big. That's now the rotation cut off back through mid. TSM is kind down. of committed yeah, to this one. Yeah, they're not going to have the Viper, right? Yeah. No more wall. This is difficult for TSM to get into a position where they can... They're waiting for the... This orb left. to go down. What? That is what a shot. Yeah, That's Corey disgusting. Is, uh, it's just aim duels, though, right? Like, like, everyone's just kind of going for their one fight. What? That's what? an offender's what wall. What? 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 Oh. Yeah, yeah, I think he... he was trying to oh, wall. Oh, 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 oh my god. Wait, That's the first day. That's the first day. Don't worry, we caught all of it. Let's go, Corey. What a time to do it. Don't worry, we caught all of it. That was funny. Was you he, know, they do say that Icebox is an aiming map. Was he it trying is, to do like the EG, like Fortnite right boost to knock him off? Or was he just trying to block the plant? Like that wall oh might God. have just like fully trolled the round. No, Def did it before the plant came okay. in. He's really feeling it this year, okay. by the way. What? Here's a 3K. Yeah. Yo. 
I think. Uh, I think. Oh my. That was Jesus. robotic. Ooh. Play it again. Yeah, that was nice. Beep, beep, beep. Def oh, massively nice. messed up the wall there. I mean, that is. I, I have no idea what he's thinking. I think he was trying to just wall them off completely from getting yeah. to the plant area. Or was he cooking? Dag was fumbled. Why is it diagonal then? I think he just ran they into the wall. They call it the death wall. You guys don't understand the high level. That yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't. that no. wall down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I think his wall was not meant to be in that spot. It's all good. That's a lot of damage on second. I gotta it. say, TSM look way better in yesterday's last yeah. match and today's Definitely. match compared to their first game. They look dead. Uh, Four is locked in. Yeah. And I've been so impressed with Hazed. Both his calling, the adaptations he's made, and mm -hmm. his just individual, game, right? Yeah. Yep. And we're gonna have to revisit the map veto after this too, like that conversation. They're yeah. so prepped. I mean, they just look crazy prepped for Icebox. Yeah, so maybe it was a good call. <laughs> yeah, me being dumb's not new. <laughs> yeah, he went up on the wall. Wait, wait, Tense is, oh, <gasps> Tense is over the wall. Oh, give him a kiss. Hello? He just he got eg would walled back. Oh, mm. the lurk is in two. Might be all she wrote. This is over. This wait is a over. minute. Wait a Pause second. Chance? Wait. Unless... No, this is still over. He has Killjoy out. Wait, what? Box. It's not over. Yeah. Does Hayes have a molly? You can deny this He's for a little bit? He's got mollies, right? He has one. Yeah, he does. Death has res, too. One molly. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. the molly. Oh! Okay. Hello. Nice coverage. Corey's just. He's okay. <laughs> yeah. One of them. Yeah, and I just. It's all on hey, the molly, right? The molly the no, 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 it was, it was way too late. Wow. There you go. Wow. You only have one. Uh, they salvaged that. Okay. Hey. Another, hey. An, only another <laughs> six <laughs> rounds to OT. I'm just a big send. I'm a send. We hold him at 12. They're hanging on. They're hanging on. Get into 12 and then start playing. Start using our strats. Look at how bad the buy is, though, from They lost everyone to win that round. Yo, Corey's a menace right now. Yeah, he's locked in. Guys actually locked in 21 and 10. At least they have Pancada Waltz. If you're going to make a comeback and win six rounds in a row, this is the hardest one to win. The half? Yeah. Or this round? This round. Like this round, okay. yeah. Right here. Oh, I've never seen somebody jump up on that second ledge to do that, to be safer, I guess, from the belt push. Why does it only push forward? So much damage off that KJ Molly. Yeah, that Molly, what? Oh, and that goes actually higher than the other ones, too. I think it actually might make it a little harder to find value from like peeking someone back rafters from belt. Yeah, exactly. Thanks for the heal, bro. <laughs> Needed that. They're walking through it off the drone. This is yeah, a big where risk. Where should you look? I need to break this. Look. Oh. Corey just goes around it. Oh. Nice pre-fire. Spike down A. Oh, ah. it's tough. That's okay, the viper though. change. Pancada feels like he has to get back into the pit at some point. Now. Oh my god, the flash is so good. What? Nature? Tense V Nature. 1v1. For the game. For the game. Oh, oh my god. Nature greater than Tense. Wow. What a way. What a fantastic game yeah. from yeah, TSM. What a comeback yeah. from their yesterday series, which went the exact opposite, right? Yeah. yeah. They've I mean, gotten yeah. so much better every single revenge. series. And now that that's two tier two teams, that's two challengers teams. And you Into know the grand finals. You remember the guard when we were talking to them and we asked for predictions. They all said 2 0 TSM at the beginning in yeah, the first yeah. match. Yeah, they weren't talking yeah. about that series. Yeah, though. they weren't talking about that TSM. They were talking about this TSM. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that was that was sick. They came back into this with such a good idea of what they wanted to do. That icebox looks really good. Mm. Yeah. And yeah, I thought it was dangerous taking Sentinels to maps that they obviously had a bit more prep on, but TSM were far and away the better team in terms of their, like their, their ideas that they brought to the table today. But uh, I don't know. I feel like when you look at the tournament overall for Sentinels, they, ha as a squad, are clearly going to be insanely talented. They've got tons of room to develop. They're just not quite there yet. Yeah. And, and they're probably... Yeah, I mean, they're know? probably not going to be there by the time Sao rolls around either because it's like four weeks. I mean, to win the whole thing. Sure. But later on down the road, I think this team's got... Mm -hmm. Some pretty crazy potential. Yeah, the talent's there for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's the thing that's so exciting for us, as you said. Just watching this weekend where they don't have the strats developed, but the skill level of the players and, and how they're coming together. But I think the other thing that's amazing is the state of Valorant in North America, right? Like the depth and the number of quality teams that you're going to see in the challenger scene is going to be amazing. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun in both.
Yeah, I mean, we've got two of those challenges teams yeah. in the finals now. Yeah, as well. <laughs> pretty sweet. That is yeah, competition. I mean, people are like I said before. People are saying the Ascension League is going to be just as exciting as the franchise league. So yeah, um, uh, there's there's a. I'm glad that Riot is making this big push to you know not just rule them out completely yeah. and allow you know aspiring players to have a chance to get into the franchise. They Dude, it's so invited. hard though. Like, it is so hard. I was explaining it to Lud earlier. Yeah, it's it's like, like, well, you have to like actually hit the LCQ to get into challengers, and then from challengers, like you can make it into ascension, and, like two make it, and then there's like a bunch of others around like North America, and then you have to like one makes it from that. I'm like, what? Dude, <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is like as hard as winning Yo, like the entire championship for Valorant. Ridiculously yeah, hard. Like the the teams that are going through lowers and the qualifiers right now have to win like ten BO threes. So and it's then that's crazy. just to get into challengers, and then from challengers you have to play, uh, you know, two different splits, and then if you have enough points then top two go to Ascensions. And then in Ascensions, it's only one team that makes it out, yeah. uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's, it's less yeah. lands, but it is pretty much the same format that VCT had last year, where it's yeah, like right. open qualifier yeah. into Challengers, into like a Masters level tournament, which would be like the split finals, into a Champions. It's really difficult. But I have to ask the question, should this lower people's expectations of Sentinels going into Sao Paulo now? No, I, I, I don't think so at all. I, I think this is like, this is a kind of, they've been practicing for literally a week and it's not even a meme and it's like a for fun event that they, you know, obviously they're trying to win, they want to show up, but lowering expectations, I mean, I think they're gonna, they're trying to be a championship team this year and that's why they were built. But, but do they have the time, uh, one month, I just, I, I think to get the, from here to championship? I think the fans' expectations should be chilled out for Sao Paulo. I don't think the fans should be going there expecting them to hoist the trophy because then yes, they'll be that, pissed when they the, come the into fans, it. Yes, it's like well, you, I will say our fans. That is the expectation they <laughs> yeah. will bring, no matter yeah. what. And that's happens. the expectations yeah. a fan should bring. What do you want? You don't root for second, all right? I expect Tom Brady Guys, I in his forty-six-year-old really of age if, to win the Super Bowl this year. <laughs> if, I'm a, if I'm a Sentinels fan, I want them to win. <laughs> I love this uh, animation, by the way. Who edited that? I love it. Who's keyframing? I love that. <laughs> Great job. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. TSM fans have so much to be to be happy about. They've got. When was the last time TSM beat Sentinels? That's got to be a while. No, did they did they do it at some point last year? No, they no, have not they played since played 2020. Years, right? They haven't played, they haven't played since 2020. Yes, yes they haven't played Holy in two years dang. apart from just recently, yesterday. Yeah. So, yesterday TSM's wow. bag, baby. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, someone um, tweet at Reggie, tell him his team won. I don't think he knows yet. <laughs> 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 Probably true, honestly. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, going to grab one of them. Reggie, yeah. you know he yeah, hasn't yeah, yeah. at all. <laughs> He's like, we've been paying for that? <laughs> <laughs> are they all slunk away or are they still up there? I think they're still uh, up there. Oh, they're still up there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're yeah. vibing. Oh, I, I kind of want to talk to Nature. Yeah, mm. if he's down. Yeah, we've Nature's got a couple got of such a great TSM. I'll, I'll hop out. I'll let them hop on. I got yeah. I got to get ready for my show I match anyway. Out. Yes, thanks for joining us, Rob. Thank you, guys. Rob. Thank it's you, been Rob. fun. Yeah. And uh, we're looking forward to Sao Paulo. Hell yeah. Yes, we are. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to expect to win even though we shouldn't. <laughs> but we I appreciate that. I appreciate Thanks that. Honest, that. candid. Corey, yeah. Nature, anybody want to hop in for an interview? Hop in over here. Come, yeah, come on. Through. You got time? Yo, Let's Corey. Go. Go. Corey. Corey, the man who hit the first ace of the tournament yeah. as well. Yeah. First ace? Yeah. 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 First ace. <laughs> You're kind of nasty, huh? Shit in the paintball field, tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did pretty good. You actually did amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it hurt a lot. <laughs> uh, how do you feel, bro? That feels pretty good. Honestly, I mean... I woke up, I was pretty tired. I feel like I kind of just went into it, just, uh, I don't know, just enjoying it. I think actually the maps this time worked out for us a lot better. Ooh. Yeah, everyone here was saying that it was such great choices on the maps <laughs> yeah. that you picked. And everyone, don't look at me, why are you looking at me? Uh, why, why, did you got rid of both of the maps that they hadn't really been playing? Like, they played the double duelist comps on both the maps that you got rid of, right? Yeah. Did you not want to play against Tens and Zekin on, on those? Because that's a bit of a weird comp that they were running. I thought you guys would want to play into that. Well, I think the main thing for us is that we have like some experimental maps that we're still trying to work out and like flesh out still. Right, uh, right. Pearl was one of them. Um, for okay, a while we were using, okay. We were using Neon ourselves for a while. Mm. Right. But we right. ended up using Rays and we had Chamber for a while, which I, we're definitely going to move away from that for now because it was. Yeah, that chamber yeah. pick was so bold, man. Bro, you can't hold B. But the thing is, though, it's nice on attack because you can force fights on B long and, yeah. and take all the space. Yep. And once you take all the space, like, not a lot of people fight you, right? Like, people play like Killjoy. Yeah. So you can walk up all the way, take all the space, come back and re-hit. So it but, is something you guys have practiced and it yeah, was working, yeah. but you yeah. kind of... James, you want to hop on here? Uh, yeah. get, get your piece on it? Y'all got it. I, got it. Got it. <laughs> that was funny. I was yesterday, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah, what, yeah. what was the difference, though? Because you did play Sentinels twice this weekend. Mm -hmm. The first one didn't go so great. It was like a 13-7, 13-8. Yeah. And then this one, you, you stomped. What Did you just, like, study the fracture? And you're like, hey, like, it wasn't that good when they played it? Like, what? 
Well, I mean, the fracture, even the first time, I feel like a lot of our blunders stopped us from taking the win on the map. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, we threw a lot of up number advantages, couldn't close out rounds and post plants. Right. But we kept getting first bloods and we were opening up the rounds very well. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's like we were starting off strong, just not finishing. Okay. So this time around, like it worked a lot better for us. You guys well, also reviewed last night. I'm pretty sure I heard. Like yeah. you guys were reviewing what happened and what went wrong. Mm -hmm. What was we the, saw those adjustments? What was the deal with the cipher so. pick that you went for as well? Well, you changed the comp kitchen, too. Yeah, we fracture. typically think cipher's stronger against Neon. Right. Just yeah. because, yeah, yeah I like, mean, she has her own smokes. She runs into the trips. It's pretty easy. Uh, with Killjoy though, she kind of bypasses that, even with like a learn bot. So there's not a lot of pressure for her. Yeah. So the cipher was definitely the adjustment for sure. Mm -hmm. for us. I mean, hey, it, it fucking worked. Uh, you're in finals against the guard. Mm. Now that's that's the two uh, tier two teams. Do you like that term? Tier two? Yeah, because they, they <laughs> that's what they've been using is tier one is like the franchise teams, yeah. and then they call the other teams tier two. I feel like it's somewhat hurtful, but I don't know another terminology. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I don't say it's hurtful. Yeah. But like, I mean, I mean, I come from Overwatch as well. I mean, sure. even if like the scene is young and Valorant and it's not as developed, there was still a tier two scene in Overwatch as well early right. on. I mean, I was a part of that as well. And then you eventually grind, grind, grind. The more you play, the like the gap kind of widens for players who don't improve, don't get disciplined. Right. And then, I mean, at the end of the day, like you're gonna grind. You're gonna play against better teams. Everything's gonna start making sense, and uh, I think that's why it's about slowly, kind of uh, evolving into. Do you, do you feel sense? like the gap is gonna be uh, wide this year at all? At the end of the year, it feels like all the challengers teams are gonna be grinding just as hard as the international league teams, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's definitely the concern. Yeah. I think like all the all the franchise teams are just gonna scream each other, mm. and they're gonna be able to kind of lock you guys against out? each other. Yeah, yeah. We might get a little locked out. Do you think so? <laughs> they're gonna be. But kind I feel like, like they'll have to scream you guys, or it would make more sense for them too, right? Exactly. To kind of yeah. keep stuff from each other, mm -hmm. so they'll be forced to a little bit. Yeah, because you're gonna want to hide strats and whatnot. Yeah. Which is like, like I said, I was in tier two in Overwatch for a little bit. Yeah. And we would scream Overwatch League teams all the time because. Yeah, because they they don't want to play yeah, each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and even then, um, we had like a, I was on like the, like the academy team, I guess. Yeah. On, on one of the Overwatch League teams, so it would use us to. To practice, yeah, team. exactly. Yeah. So they would like use strats against us. They Makes sense. Anybody. What, what do you think about uh, the challengers like format of that entire like system? Isn't it kind of crazy like how hard it is to get into ascension and then make it into franchise? Yeah, I mean to be honest, I'm in it and I'm still kind of confused how it kind of works. Yeah, <laughs> it's very confusing. I, I, you you just got to win a lot, Corey. You just yeah, got to yeah, win. Yeah, if you yeah. win, it's pretty. Yeah. You got to play a lot and then win lot. like most of them. Like yes. we got invited past like the open qualifier exactly. or something, but like it's an open qualifier to qualify for a qualifier that yeah. you qualify for. To yeah, you have to qualify, qualify for, for challengers so to you get can points qualify to for qualify ascension qualify. so you can qualify for exactly. franchise. Yeah. Essentially this, you but forgot one extra qualifier. matches in that mix. Uh, is it like the same point system as LCQ? It's, I think so. it's pretty much what VCT was last year with the point system and different stages of challengers oh. that you have to re-qual through. The, I think top teams get... Actually, there is no second qualifier. Yeah, this no LCQ is the last one, yes. so the oh, only big it's like a league at this so year. So when what we're going to play in, it's going to be top... Was it top... 12? 10, 12. 12? There's, there's, there's 12, 12 teams, yeah, and then there's split one, and then I believe split two, you get more points in split two, and then also there's like a mid-season uh, it's, 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 yeah. it's playoffs yeah. where the top <laughs> eight teams will get another chance to make more points, uh, and the top four of that will get extra points mm. in the mid-season. Yeah, huh. so there's two splits and a mid-season thing, and basically then after all that, uh, you get to ascension with the top two, and then... You play versus the rest of America's. It's so a very one simple and intuitive so yeah, it's pretty system. Simple, Sounds pretty very yeah. long. Yeah, uh, yeah I've, I've, <laughs> I've only recently wrapped my head It'll be a long year. It's, it's hard to explain uh, in, in short, but lots of Valorant to come is the TLDR of it and all. And you're right. playing one of your hardest opponents, I think, in that entire stretch of, of Challenger, Ascension, whatever, today. Yeah. Because the guard, I think, is like a favorite to be like, you know, one of the mm. front runners in the Ascension League. Yep. Um, now, Rob was here earlier. Sentinel CEO right. tweets a lot. You probably heard of him. Mm -hmm. uh, and he was he was he was johnning, bro. He was like, "Yeah, we got Sao Paulo. We don't use our strats. <laughs> this that. We don't have any strats though, actually, man. Bro, it's been like a PR. week, dude. But there <laughs> is no reason to hide any strats <laughs> against the guard. So the uh -huh. question is, like, do you think of them as like your premier competition for this year? I think Ascension is going to be a very close games. Mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be like the the top dogs, uh, everything's gonna be kind of played close, like uh, the guard, M80. I think we're gonna be a top contender as well. It just takes a lot. It takes time DSG. review, you know what I mean? Yep. There's, there's so many teams in it, it's really hard to say. Also, it's kind of just because the season's just starting. You don't really know who's gonna 
you know, be in shape for when matches roll around. Right. Uh, everything's up in the air. I mean, I mean you're going to stay in shape the entire year as well. So yeah. you're, you're still peaking towards the end when you yeah, actually true. are playing for a century. It's a marathon. It's yeah. a sprint. What, what were yeah. your quick thoughts on Sentinels? I mean, you've knocked them out now. You rematched them. You mm. had some ups and downs against them too. So well, what's your feel on them for like a, a new team? Honestly, I think some of the things they were doing was actually pretty innovative. Right. Uh, they had um, a pro post plant that I was like, wow. Like they, they paid it from art, had to go to smokes that quite literally made it so you couldn't retake from, from pit. You kind of had a flank. The one on top of the mid box where they were, it yeah, kind of had to do yeah. one way, right? Yeah, yeah. It was actually, that was a really strong one. I was like, wow. Like, like that was actually a really good post yeah. plant. And then they had a cool cam setup in A main and Fracture the first time we played them where they would uh, exec yeah. on you from drop you when the cam, fracture. like, yeah. yeah, yeah. And if you're in A main, you're just, yeah. you're just getting. So they had some cool tech. Yeah, they had, they had some cool, innovative things. So I think, like, honestly, I, the more they play, the better they're going to get. It's, they're going to be a scary team for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. Can I ask you a bat chess question? Okay. Who's scarier, Tent and Zekin, or Saucy and Pancata? <laughs> mm, honestly, I think yesterday it was definitely Tens and Zekin. Mm. They were... They were just hitting shots. Today, I don't think I've ever died faster to a brimstone phantom in my life. <laughs> fracture. I, I got like, I did one jiggle and I just got instantly headshot. I just fell out. It's the land thing, dude. It's the like, land I servers. Bet. I tried the phantom. Is it, it was I mean, I use a dot, right, in the game? Yeah, I use a dot. I started using the dot. You were frying, Use the, the vandal, bro. Trust me, dog. <laughs> dude, I mean, you guys give me mixed feedback. <laughs> Trust me, dog. Just use the vandal. If you got you the dot. You were frying. You were frying on Icebox especially. You were just... Uh. Oh, by the way, you got the first ace of the event, so congrats yeah, on that. You see the whole thing, though. We did. We saw the replay mm. of it. The, yeah. what, though, that, that I think it was the fourth kill, the flick that was. Yeah, that was yeah. cool Lud Ludwig and Tyrek were saying there's like a massive bounty for the first ace of the tournament, right? Yeah, oh. Tarek said he would gift a hundred subs to whoever did it. Yeah. Uh, congratulations, <laughs> you got the hundred subs. <laughs> so, 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 <laughs> Tarek directly. VIP and chat, Shout out bro, to Tarek. VIP and chat. I got you. VIP and chat. That I got you. VIP and chat is fun. It's cute. Um. Well, that's it. Any thoughts? You know, you got another match, of course, coming up mm -hmm. after the uh, the penultimate match, the show match. Right. But any, anything going through your head? I'm going to take a nap, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the advantage of being um, the guard today is that they can just fuck off all day, sleep, chill, and then play one match. Sometimes that's a, that's a curse, not a blessing, honestly. Why? Uh, you get in, like, dry, like you're not warm or anything. Mm, okay, that's fair. You hop on the PCs, and you're just, you're just cold. Right. Yeah, just, there's no warm. Mm -hmm. You just get in. And a nap is good for that? <laughs> <laughs> Came into this one pretty tired, honestly. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Who you Take got? your nap. Who you got in the show match? Who you got in the show match? Terry or Ludwig? Yeah, it's my, my team, or OTV and me versus Lud and Yard. Who's on uh, your team? He told me. Shroud. Oh. Do I need to say more? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mike Shroud. Drop. Mike Shroud. What do you mean? Oh. Well, hello, I got Shroud. I got Nick Yingling. You probably heard of him. Mm. Isn't this the guy you allege got boosted to Immortal by Zekin? <laughs> good, 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 good information. There, Aiden, wow. I got Nick Envy from the yard, mm -hmm. and I got myself. So, okay. yeah, kind of hitters. And then yours was Masayoshi, yeah. Korjade, yourself, and Snooze. Boring. Yvonne Silver. Yvonne, 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 Yvonne Silver. Yvonne Silver. Yvonne Silver. Yvonne Silver. If, <laughs> if he's opping, John he's John John real hard, probably he'll win. If he's <laughs> opping, then he's such a pussy. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just. My job is to, or my goal is just to bully Lud, as much as I. You're not gonna can. kill me more than once. You I'm gonna map knife bands? you. You're what not gonna knife kill me. You guys doing map bands? Uh, I think we're just gonna play Lotus and then go. With, I don't know how we're doing. Oh, it. We're gonna Lotus? start with Lotus and yeah. then whoever loses gets a counter pick, maybe with like two bands or something. Okay. Right, but like you know what you're gonna play. Who I'm gonna play? Yeah, do you know, like I have one agent. Comp? He's a, what do you play? Raise. The rest of the comp doesn't matter. He's a range man, but he does not. Ult, he doesn't satchel ults in. He uses satchels like offensively. Offensively. Yeah. Yeah. offensively. So, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's like, like, yeah. no, I, I, like, I like plant the bomb, and Shucks then I put the satchel no. next to the bomb, and then yes. I'm over here, and I'm like, jiggle, <laughs> jiggle. You saw oh. how I jiggle, bro. Mm. Like, in I real see life, the jiggles are funny, though, because he goes out, and then he goes in, and he goes out. That's what a jiggle is. You go like this. Can we say your air strafe? You know how people jump peak angles? He just jumps out. He's a, he's a, he's a, I'm out there, bro. It's like the nerdiest bullying bro. session I've ever had to deal with in my life. You just trained me, dog. You didn't train me? Yeah, exactly. It's not oh, my yeah. fault. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. We'll I, see. I have him right. for the money. But... Eat shit and die. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I actually totally respect the choice, and I can't wait for the guard to beat you as well. 
Uh, no, I think it's probably a fair call, but uh, Tarek, right. you better just go easy, bro. No ops. Right. Don't be weird. Don't be cringe. Thanks, Don't be Corey. Uh, you bounce, Corey. Corey. Appreciate Corey. you. Corey. Appreciate you, Corey. Thank you, Corey. I can't yeah, believe I you just you. shot me with a paintball gun seven times, then said I was going to lose, then walked away. <laughs> <laughs> At my own event. That's Ridiculous. brutal. Ridiculous. Uh, anyway, uh, guys, if you guys uh, are, 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 are trying to get saucy in chat, then then uh, check out HyperX. Uh, they sponsor this event. They're the reason we are here, uh, and, and that's pretty exciting because we would not have been able to do this um, in any way that makes any financial sense without them. Uh, so please, please, for the love of God, just go to hyperx.gg forward slash hxval. Just go 